Oh, I think Trey. Yep. I think Trey could give me twenty minutes of hits. Shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> wait, hold on. Right. Uh, all right. At, at, he did just have a show in New York. I just didn't get around to uh, to getting my twenty hits. I heard that shit when it happened. I heard when you did that shit before it was a drop. That shit is funny. I haven't introduced anyone. This is all madness. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, that was oh, madness. Yeah. This isn't madness. Oh, yeah, baby. What do you mean? This is big. Pause. This is my fight music. I've waited a long anything. time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome all of you to Joe Budden Podcast, episode one num- what, what number is this? 113. 113. To my left, it's Maul. Hey, Maul. What up? Uh, across from Maul is Rory. I don't like this part of the record. Um, and Charlemagne the God is here. The Prime Minister of pissing people off to rule up the wrong way. The architect of aggravation. Slow down. That's how, me. That's a lot of shit. It, how long did you rehearse that before you started? I've never even heard all of that. Oh. I just never rehearsed thing. It's one of those things I just started saying because everybody would always say that about me. Like, I'm purposely trying to get under people's skin. Purposely trying to aggravate people. So I just started owning it. I want to thank you for coming here. It's my pleasure. We it's, are, one my, it's one of my favorite podcasts, contrary to popular belief. Oh, we're going to get into popular belief. <laughs> <laughs> we are, this whole we, shit is about popular this motherfucking belief. This entire podcast <laughs> is about popular belief. Um, how are you? I'm blessed and highly favored. Blessed black and highly favored. Uh, congrats on your book. Yeah. It's doing really well. New York Times bestseller. Been on the New York Times bestsellers list for four weeks in a row. I don't, I, I don't I think, think the culture great. appreciates that. This guy's media trained. I know, right? I think it's great that... that <laughs> why, <laughs> why I gotta be media trained for telling the facts? This, this guy. That's I know, the but facts. You, well, no, when you volunteer the facts... I just wanted to be... I wanted to say... First oh, you, of all, you, you got your book, your book propped up. Yeah. That's, That's right. media training right there. Yeah, That's the uh, Product how great placement, baby. Black privilege and white privilege right next to each other. There you go. But black privilege is different. I just feel like it's a privilege to be black. You just, you know. I just, yeah. Got I, was, I was just born. <laughs> yes, for your skin, because of your skin color. <laughs> now, let's, I want to start there. Um, I do want to shout out your your uh, podcast co-host, Andrew Schultz. Andrew's very upset he couldn't be here, by the way. Like, like really upset. I just felt like, I, I just yes. felt like it wasn't that, we're not doing a brilliant idiot's you know, I, I I still think it should be our name this podcast later. I don't know why y'all let him change it to the Joe Budden podcast. Just, just you know, but. This guy's volunteering <laughs> more of his fucking thoughts. I, know, I thought right? y'all was a group. <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all was a group. Your little academic tactic <laughs> won't work here. But I'm just saying, like, imagine if Destiny's Child came back together. It can't be called the Beyonce Listen, album. He's trying to divide and conquer the same way he did by getting an act on his podcast. We're going to talk. Gonna talk. I can't wait to talk about all of this. I can't wait to talk about all of this. Charlamagne is smart. He's a very smart guy. Andrew, uh, I did not invite you here, number one, because I had no desire to speak with you. Number two, your presence would have made this a brilliant idiot's mashup again. Number three, Charlemagne and I had some history that I would like us to get to. You particularly don't have anything to do with that. I saw you tweeting that I was scared. I, I think he was shook. I think that Andrew overestimates his intelligence and underestimates my arrogance. To say that e- either yeah, way, I, we're not scared of thing, we're not scared of Andrew Schultz. Yes, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm definitely gonna have to hear about this tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be. See, they started off the podcast talking about me, and I wasn't there. To well, I wanted myself. to get that out the way because yeah. him and I just had a recent exchange, and I wanted to let him know he's still a friend of the show. Even though now, if I have to have, let's start there. Let's start in a nice light note. I think I have a better white co-host than you. Oh, nah, shit. Andrew washes Roy. At what? I don't think so. Funnier, smarter. (laughs) What? (laughs) This is bias as shit. (laughs) It's the truth, though. And I like Rory. Well, one, Andrew calls himself a comedian. I don't call myself a comedian. That's true. Let's get that out the way. Score one for Rory. I might be a bit wittier off the rip. I'm not even going to defend that. I, I, I'm biased because that's my guy. But you this know, is that, my beef. That's a conversation y'all should have with each other. I like Andrew a lot, by the way. Well, this um, is my beef with Andrew. Andrew, and I guess it's kind of my beef with you as well because mm-hmm. you have to inherit the beef. Andrew jumps in, and I guess it's my beef with a lot of white people that are like that. They jump in up on black topics when they probably shouldn't, and they're not very sensitive toward us when they do. I, don't you think we should have those conversations? I agree with the uh, sensitive part, but it's hard to be sympathetic to something you really don't understand. 
You well, know, so I think his so, point so, is there. So, why talk about it if you don't understand it? Because he's, trying, well, to, he's trying to understand. Or even have knowledge behind it. Well, I guess that, that's, he's trying where, to understand. I think okay. that's where so we So he's disagree. inquisitive more than... Yeah. It never looks like he's attempting to understand. It always looks like he's telling us about us, which is I, where I, the, which I is where the offense too. comes from. I mean, we've, we've had those... I've heard you speak about this yeah, even on the those, podcast. We've had those conversations on the podcast. I agree with that. I feel like it should be uh, less... It should be more listening... And more trying to understand and more, you know, telling us what it is we should be doing wrong. But I do like to hear that side, though. I do, personally. I like to know how uh, the others think. White, Asian, whatever. I like to know what they think about our culture and us. Do you regret the Tommy Lauren move? Mm. I, don't I, I only ask that yeah. because I remember you saying that there. And I, I agree, and I understand yeah. when people say that, but I guess how it was framed, the aesthetic of it. No, I don't regret it, actually. And I saw your back and forth with Bomani. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty well publicized. Yeah, I don't I don't regret it because I, I did what I felt like I should have done. Like, I, I told everybody I was going to meet with her before I did. That's number one. I did that on The Breakfast Club. And then when I met with her, the conversation we had was me trying to school her to why her rhetoric is dangerous to black people. Like, I, we had that conversation. Like, she was talking to me about, you know, Black Lives Matter and how she thinks the Black Lives Matter is like uh, the KKK. And I'm like, yo, that's just not accurate and so she said to me the reason she felt that way was because when she was in Dallas she was there that night um, that, that guy went rogue and shot all those police oh, officers yeah, yeah. Okay. and then she said like her, her parents were getting death threats and she was getting death threats and then she saw a video of like some guys marching that said they were BLM and they said they wanted to kill all cops so I understood why she felt the way she felt I didn't agree with it I only but, care but about I the framing of yeah. it. I'm sure y'all had productive conversations. Absolutely. And and she told me she's a Trump supporter. So I was like, yo, are all Trump supporters racist? And she was like, no. She was like, you know, when I go to these rallies, yes, a lot of them are racist. I can admit that. It's, it's a, but, but all of them are racist. She also thinks she's not racist. So she may not be. I don't freak. Well, out. I'm not. Is she a racist? I'm not about to call her a racist. I'm not either. Yeah, I don't but, know. And this is not a, a lot political of people, podcast. A lot of don't would. try to come Tommy yeah. Lauren me to no, death. No. I don't and, care and, enough and, about that and, white and, girl. And I told to her. Do that here. I also told her that if she can see the nuance in Trump supporters, and she knows all of them are racist, and some of them just want <clears> to <throat> shake up the government and drain the swamp, then she should be able to see the nuance in the Black Lives Matter movement. So the conversation. I've only and, met and her one time in my life. To which she replied, "What." I don't think she really grasped the concept, to be honest with you. Because like, it was me, it was me, her, and three other white men in the room. I was the only black guy in the room. I was the black. It was one black, me, her, and three other white guys. And the other white guys had to explain to her like it's the exact same thing. That's Tom. why. That's why. That's why I think the line of we have to have some type of dialogue with people that we're disagreeable with yeah. sometimes is an easy scapegoat because a lot of these people aren't open minded. Yeah, but once you have the conversation and realize they're not open minded, you just don't have any more conversations. Like that was the one time I met her in my life. <clears throat> I don't need to talk to Donald Trump to know he's not open-minded. No, Again, I'm not I don't talking care about this. Yeah, I don't I'm care not, about this political I'm not talking shit. to Donald you Trump. You are way more, uh, yeah. m- much more of an activist than me. I don't, I don't talk about this stuff I wouldn't call, I'm not going to call myself an activist, but I do, uh, I, I do care about what's going on in the world. All right, let's get to the important shit. Well, the not important shit in the world. Let's get to the nigga shit, man. <laughs> yeah, man. That's Rory. Wait, no, I don't know what the let's fuck Let's get to I'm the nigga about. shit, Rory. <laughs> I'm the one that's leading that? <laughs> Say nigger. <laughs> <laughs> I see what's going on here. Listen. <laughs> Let's let's just get it all on the table, man. Tell everyone what your issue is with me. Um, let's do it. I don't. I don't think. Let's I, get. I, wait. I, I mean, I gunshots, man. I, I don't have an issue with Joe Budden. Like this, this is my thing. I listen to this podcast all the time. I've heard y'all critique the Breakfast Club. I've heard y'all critique who's the A mic. That's true. I've heard y'all say we usually critique it in your favor, by the way. Yeah, true indeed. I mean, I critique I, is a critique. True indeed. Yeah. I don't never think hear that and be like, oh, they're trying to break the Breakfast Club up, or oh, they're trying to divide and conquer. I like every dish. You don't knock it off. If but this your fucking if this your parallel? <laughs> what? Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? No, I'm, just, fuck I'm, just going, I'm just going based off what I see on social media. They're like, I seen an hour long YouTube video yesterday. The shit was Charlemagne is trying to destroy everyday struggle by using the 48 laws of power. I think I'm you like, too. what? I think you brought Ak on there to separate Ak and Joe against your competition. Roy, do you know how long I've known academics? I, I, I know I academics no for idea. all of y'all motherfuckers. Like I had I've that's known, not a I've compliment. Kno- I've known I mean, that's, for like that's two not weeks. anything to be proud of. I'm just right. saying. I've I just giving, met him. I've been, <laughs> give, I've been giving academics advice and mentoring him for at least five to six years. Well, why did you choose this time then? Mm, get that nigga Rory. <laughs> get that nigga Rory. If, why now? If if if, <sighs> if everybody's talking about everyday struggle and you know some they ask me my opinion on it and I say look I like everyday struggle I hope Joe Budden doesn't fuck it up the way mm-hmm. he fucks up a lot of things I fuck man that, that he's in 
involved in. Joe that's definitely. True. I, I agree. I agree that's with true. that part. That's that true. part I agree. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm actually rooting. I'm like, yo, Joe, don't self destruct this time. What do you, you think we saying <laughs> behind the scenes? Okay. <laughs> so what's the problem? And uh, construct, constructive is the problem. criticism is. The only way that show's going to work is if, number one, Joe doesn't get in his own way, and number two, if he, he got to respect academics. That's a very vague assessment. We can say that's applicable to anything did if you, you don't get your own did way. Did you see yourself the other day? You was grunting Which at one? academics. That shit was <laughs> hilarious. You definitely look like Hannibal Lecter. You did no, look like you was he was asking like, to put he, the lotion in the basket. He looked like Groot <laughs> of Guardians of the Galaxy. And what made it so funny was you was grunting at academics and he acted like he could understand you so he looked like fucking Rocket the Raccoon. <laughs> like he was like... No, he always looked You like was that. grunting at him for real. He always looked like that. Joe was like... Rrr, 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 and he was responding like... What about Juicy J? Yeah. Like, he didn't even flinch. Yeah. That shit was That's funny. our relationship. But back to y'all. Okay. Back to, so I listened to the podcast. Uh, the last three. Well, not, well, the last yeah, one I don't want to get I them actually all started confused. to name the last one the Joe Budden podcast, but I decided to The academic it. one. <laughs> yeah. I listened to that one, right? And when it came on, you both went on to say that you had only seen clips of everyday struggle. The clips, the clips that we upload, Complex uploads. Yep. And when I heard that, I immediately started scratching my head, and I'm a contrarian, and I'm a conspiracy theorist, so I said, that just sounds like the biggest crock of bullshit I ever fucking heard. No way in the world are do you have this much critique on something that you've only seen a clip of. But wait, the clips wait, are 20, wait. 30 minutes Slow time. down, slow down. I'm not even telling you about you. I'm telling you about your lying-ass co-host really quick. Oh, I'm going to have to hear this. Not one. even 15 minutes after after you both say you've only seen clips Andrew then tells academics that he went on YouTube and watched the whole thing after he saw one of the clips. I said, now that makes a lot more sense. Oh, it's another okay. reason I won't invite his lying ass up here. It's just a fucking <laughs> lie. A lie is a lie is a lie. Now, you guys uh, are complimentary of the show, but you hedge it some. You it's hedge critique. It. You hedge it with bets. Yes, why not? What's wrong with That's placing a, a bet? Oh, it's a nice little it pool at loudspeaker. Like, how long before Joe Budden <laughs> fucks up everyday struggle? Wait, there's a pool at loudspeaker? I, Andrew got two months. I got, I'm giving you six months, Joe. And it's not even really Y'all because... Y'all have wait, fairly what, what does misjudged have? the market. I haven't, I haven't what does Chris Combat Morrow about? have? Chris, Who else at loudspeaker? I want to know. Charlamagne Sh- knows better than real this quick. bullshit that he talks. <laughs> and that is why, see, that's why, see, I'm going to connect all of these dots. I'm going to connect the dots. Anytime Charlamagne and I have ever spoken, we have lacked context. Okay. Charlamagne knows good and goddamn well that Complex is not letting go of Joe Budden yeah, but in jo- the but- next two to six Months. But like I said on Let's the podcast. Let's be very clear. <laughs> Joe will I could go in there and beat my dick on the counter in the morning. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. Pause. But Joe, I said you would not walk. And I don't do that in the bathrooms early. I said Joe would walk. <laughs> I said Joe will get t- Joe, Joe's got ADD. He'll get tired of it. Uh, he'll get tired of dealing with academics. He'll get tired of being in that building. He'll walk away from this shit. That was a chess move that academics on your podcast. And, well, you, and you know it. You no, know it was. The, 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 the timing of that. The timing of that. Well, I'd like to know, and I think I also speak for Mo. Uh, why are we salty? Mm. Why are y'all get, salty? If I remember correctly, oh, on the last, oh, oh, oh. Well, listen, uh, you I brought be, up some I, tweets, yes, some I things would, I said on the podcast. I, Apparently, yes. I am salty at DJ Academics. I think you got a little hate towards academics. You might uh, be right, Rory. Uh, why? Because I think you know that he's going to take your spot eventually. Joe's got to do his best for his brand. Wait, he's you think, already. Listening. You think <laughs> Joe's got to do his me, best for his brand? And I'm going to tell you, I don't listen. I'm gonna, I'm oh gonna, my god! This is just my assessment, right? I love this. I don't know how close you and Joe are. To me, it seems like Joe and Mal have been knowing each other for a long time. Mm. I feel like Joe is loyal to his friends. Okay, so the guys Joe and I he meets through friends. the industry, y'all kind of disposable. I, are I we industry say, friends? Just, Can I, I don't tell know. You, I'm just, that's I'm, how I I'm see just it. in awe of, this guy's good. Am I he wrong? Is. He is. Nigga, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So Rory's your so, man. Yeah. Rory's like your friend friend? Yeah, Rory's my friend. Okay, okay. He's so, my, uh, I, I hang out with him. Okay. Outside of here. Okay, okay. Like, I, lo- I love, I talk to this fucking, I talk to this people that love and care about him. That's my guy. Okay. Even that's with why that, this though, works. I'd rather him replace me if I was whack on this podcast or people didn't want me on Well, him. that's coming. You're not whack. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's right about um, that. <laughs> so where, where am I going to be replaced with Ak? I'm curious. You think Ak is going to do this podcast now? Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, why wouldn't he? 
You would never do You think him berating him for 40 <coughs> minutes every morning, they're going to come here and sit for three hours and talk about the same thing? So you agree with me the show will be done in six months? Because somebody's going to get tired no, of No, I didn't shit. say that at all. Roy, that's exactly you what not, you just said. No, I just said, do you think they're going to want to talk every single day for 30 minutes, scream at each other, and then come here for another hour to talk about it? The bag. Y'all always talk about the bag, right? The we bag. working on that. The bag. He lied. Uh, he did lie. Y'all niggas worship And him. you worship Charlemagne. <laughs> <This nigga, man. laughs> what have I lied about? What this have, nigga. What have I lied about? <laughs> I wish Rory would stop dignifying this fuck shit. Charlemagne, Charlemagne, no, I'm telling him he's wrong. Charlemagne is creating shit, all of these problem. fucking Joe Budden narratives. I know you. <laughs> now uh, it's interesting. But even with that, you had said that uh, I was on Twitter talking about Ack. If you read it correctly, no, I said, <laughs> "Just shut up, Flex." <laughs> Rory, so you wasn't talking about Ack? No, I said what I think Wale was trying to say to Ack okay. was et cetera, et cetera. What I said on Twitter. So you was talking to academics through Wale. You was translating everyone Wale. On t- everyone on Twitter was talking about it, and I said, hey, what well, I think Wale was trying to say to act, but didn't get across the right way. But those are your way. thoughts, though. You can't run them through the filter on, of Wale. On my Twitter? Yes, Charlamagne. Right. They were my thoughts so on my Twitter. So you was talking about act on your Twitter. Why were we Yeah, but you're saying there? that I was saying that about academics. I said, no, this is what I think Wale was saying about him. Do I agree with Wale? Yes, I do. But that's not what I was saying. Are you sorry? I'm going to be honest with you. Are you that's, fighting? That's, no, no, no. no, no, no. I'm going to be honest. That's some sucker shit, Rory. What's some sucker shit? Because what you're saying I came saying on this podcast is, and you, said it. You got an opinion mm. about academics, but you said you had to run it through Wale. I think what Wale was trying to say. That no, was the topic on Twitter. That's what people were talking about on Twitter. But those are your thoughts. I said that on this podcast as my thoughts the very next day. So what's the issue? I'm not sure you're misquoting me and saying no, I'm salty. He made, Rory made it seem like he wasn't. <laughs> you said I went on a Twitter rant I, I about academics and me saying Rory's he's a nerd. Tweets. I don't read Rory's tweets so like that. So that wasn't a Twitter rant about academics? No, it was about everyday struggle and he was part of it. It was about Wale. Actually, Jesus it was Christ. about Wale's you thoughts. You say I'm media trained? Is that not a media that was, train? No, that's not media trained. That was a super media train. I was talking about what Wale was talking about. <laughs> Through your filter. I want to talk yeah, what more. what I think what I... Inter- what I I don't care about your own tweets okay. and Wale. This is right. not this is not compelling for anybody but the two of you. Oh, I want to well, get back to academics. Okay. Yeah, but we don't care about what you're into. I want to get back to Charlemagne tricking naive academics on his fucking podcast. <laughs> well, this, this is part of it. No, no, I don't this care was about part Wale of it too. and all of that. Charlemagne know what he's doing, man. I really don't. You know what you do. But, but totally listen, honest, all right, I'm really sitting here don't. just listening and he yeah. know what he's doing. I know, but I know that's why that's why it's very important that I let you know that in spite of academics naivete I got him I got him I will will protect him from you fucking vultures out there because I don't know what y'all schmick is yo by the way there's a schmick by the way academics I've been talking (laughs) I've been building with academics for six years I talk to academic all the time which means what I told academic years ago are you his friend or industry friend Mm. because I can see y'all breaking up I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I don't, it's not like we. I don't hey, hang out with him. He's not my let, age. Let's let's pause from this okay. briefly because Charlemagne, when I was uh, kicking your back into academics, while I was doing so, I had to pause at this very moment because one thing we can say about you, you do always give it back. You you pause, you pause. give back Jesus the opportunities. Christ. I'm talking about. I'm just saying some good shit about. I'm not. I'm just pausing right now. All right, well, pause. I'm saying you you give back the opportunities that were that were given to you. Absolutely. Uh, and you do it a lot. Absolutely. I've I, I, I've had academic. It was a show that, <laughs> that I was executive yeah, producing. That's not a shock. You are saying? I, I had a show. I was executive producing on MTV. I had academic on that last year. I mean, it didn't. The show didn't go, but I had him there. You know, and I've always given academics advice. I remember calling academics and telling him he needs to find his own voice. Because at one point, about three, four years ago, he tried to sound like me, and he tried to sound like Star a lot. And I was like, yo, you need to find your own voice. And I also told him that, you know, you got to be careful because one day one of these Negroes is going to press you. That's the other side of the game people don't understand about. That's coming. Uh, yeah. That's coming. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully not. I mean, hopefully not. Well, it's different with this space because before no one even really knew what he looked like. Yeah, but or now now if you're inviting guests up to everyday struggle. Saying, yeah. And by the way, I told him this two, three years ago. I said, you need to really understand what you're getting into when you become this type of personality. Because eventually somebody's going to pressure you. You're not going to be able to be behind the laptop forever. That's just not the way the game goes if you're trying to grow. That was my that was my uh but I think information that's his, that's his stick. Yo, you know how him. stupid a nigga would look to press academics. Yeah, you don't get a strike for hitting academics. You think they care? Come on. In this era, you Who think is- they care? They don't care. You know how stupid somebody looks they pressing don't care. academics. Yeah, but they don't care. You know why? Because if you're gonna give out that energy, you gotta expect to give that same energy back. I don't care who you are. Speaking of, and I wasn't gonna touch this, but now it's in lieu of this. Did you know? Did did you know that that was gonna happen when it happened to you? Like, did you get a word? 
Yeah, that's the only one I, I know about. Oh, no, it's happened twice to me. That's the only one I know and about. I get it. Well, both of them was on video. The second video never came out, though, because, of course, I, I beat the shit out the dude. So me beating the shit out the dude wouldn't come out because it was on a security camera yeah. in the store. Envy and Angela and, like, G-Spin and all them saw it. But no, I, didn't know, I didn't know it was going to happen to me, but I wasn't shocked. Like, yo, there's because no way that what you— what you say Absolutely. There's no way you can go out there and say what the hell you want about people and tell people how to react. Like, people can react however the fuck they want. That's the whole—that's mm. the repercussion that you just know that you're going to have to deal with. I've never been that type of person to be like, oh, I'm going to say what I want and nothing's going to happen. You never know how somebody's going to react. Has it that. altered your approach since? No, not at all. Like, I, that happened six months later. Has it altered your security since? Like, yeah, absolutely. One hundred percent. Absolutely. I see homie in the hall with the shoulders and shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, listen, that's my man. For, that's my man for fifteen years. So you Wax know. is super cool though. He's just shaped and built like that. Joe, be cool. Joe, no, Joe met Wax fifteen years ago. Yeah. yeah. At my yeah. apartment in Columbia, me. South Carolina, me. playing spades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, so it's like, yo, of course, if I can, if I can put my man on 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 a payroll and let him get paid six figures a year, why not? Right. Wax got a whole nother genius idea about farming that I won't get into. Wax yet. has a farm. I know. Wax has an organic chicken farm in, in Hugh G, South Carolina. There's so oh, many hustles. There's yeah. so many hustles. We, he we, get into the chicken we bag. We get to it, yeah. <laughs> the chicken bag we, is underrated. We the chicken bag's it. not going anywhere. And it's right. not going anywhere. The chicken anywhere. bag will be here forever. Yeah. But, but yeah, it definitely altered my situation, especially my security situation. You're talking to like somebody like E40. E40 is like, yo, you got to make it difficult for people. Mm. You can't make it easy, especially in this era we live in. We live by the internet. Mm. So you're either going to live by the internet, you're going to die by the internet. Simple as that. Yo, so the situation when Birdman came up there, mm -hmm. like, how did how did that change your relationship with him or anybody affiliated with him? I never had a relationship with Birdman. Didn't know him before that, didn't know him after this. Like, they called me three weeks before that interview happened. Malcolm from Universal called me four in the morning, but everybody knows him up at four in the morning. And he was like, yo, Birdman want to come to the show in a couple of weeks. He want to make sure you're there. As soon as you say that, you let me know that some fuck shit about to happen. Like, mm. I know that. <clears throat> I just don't know what it's going to be. But I don't care as long as the cameras are rolling. Because right. I want to get these YouTube hits. Mm. <laughs> like, 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 simple as that. That's why when, you, when he walks in the room, you see the whole wide shot. I don't let everybody know. Revolt everybody. Turn the cameras on. I don't want to miss nothing. I would dare somebody to lay a hand on me while I'm sitting there. I would mm. dare that to happen. I'll take it. I'll take it. Record all of it. Mm. Yeah, I'm taking a lawsuit. I mean, I, I don't just, think Birdman is that dumb. I know. I don't think so either. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I like, all of that shit that the... <laughs> that's, not the that's not the witty way to do it. That's the easy thing to say. Hit me then. Like, yeah. no. no, I'm not saying to say that. I'm, tr I'm still trying to conduct the interview because I'm a professional. And mm. people trip when I say, yo, you know, why, why, why didn't, did you pull up on Rick Ross or Trick Daddy like that? That was actually one of my questions <laughs> that I was going to ask him if we had did a regular interview. Did you ever pull up on Rick Ross or Trick Daddy? Because remember he had that video where he was on stage and he said, I'm going to pull up on it. You fucked me. Yeah. He was talking mm -hmm. shit about me. So that was actually one of my questions. Well, we don't know that he didn't. He could have done it off camera. Maybe. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. I don't even uh, know why you brought that up. I, w I watched. Uh, <laughs> I w no, you don't know. We don't. You yeah, you're up. right. We don't. Uh, with that said, I watched uh, the Breakfast Club today with the mental health stuff, which I thought was really, really great. Yes, it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, and I saw another shot of Joe. <laughs> it wasn't a shot. He's going to take a shot at Joe <laughs> any time that he can Joe, take a shot at Joe. Why got to be a shot at Joe? What do you Yo, what, Charlemagne what do you is very twofold. Why did that I'm telling you. <laughs> Yo, Roy, why do you think that was a shot? He's this prominent, best-selling author, We're on this and podcast. then he's this tasteless <laughs> verbal goon. Yeah, I see through all that shit. Now back to mental health. Uh, yes, it's mental health awareness. What, what month. do you think of all rappers? You seem to bring Joe up out of the whole world of rap. Why did you do Roy, that? That's not true. In that, they in, brought up Kodak Black, and I think you, you countered with Joe. Joe. Yes, I said on a top forty, <laughs> <laughs> on a top forty said, Brandon, Brandon, radio interview. You're right. You're bringing I'd bring, up Joe. I'd bring Joe up on the mental health uh, thing he as well. He talks about it himself. Joe has I know, said I know, he I know. is unstable exactly. mentally in so every record said, he's ever made. Where do but you what think that Joe gives is you the right? <laughs> <laughs> he came out with mood music. What, what, what are you? Yo, don't. First of all, he had an album using a padded straight jacket. He knows a room. He knows a lot. About Joe Josh, she get these shout outs on the Breakfast Club. Yeah, I never got a Padded Room shout out on Breakfast Club. By the way, that wasn't even an album shoot. I don't think Padded Room was out with the Breakfast Club. That was ten years ago. Yeah, it wasn't. So, what do you think Joe's mental health is? What would be your analysis? Don't ever mention my name behind Kodak Black either. Don't do that. You don't like Kodak? I don't know Kodak. Kodak's dope, yo. 
I like. I hear that. No, musically, Kodak is dope. I, I mean, hear like, that. I'm only talking about the other stuff. So, I'm not talking about I don't, I mean, music. I don't know. Him. I just like his music. There's a lot going on with the other he stuff. He reminds me of a young Trick Daddy. What if mm. are, you're not well versed enough in Joe to be able to dance on the "Am I mentally unstable" line? So, just because I've said that. <laughs> Who else you want me to go off? I don't know. And the why, fact that I saw not, you. But why not not go on anything? And the fact that I saw you grunting at academics <laughs> yesterday during the interview. <laughs> I went, which, by the way, was so funny. I don't know why that shit did not go more viral, yo. <laughs> that shit was funny. I went back and watched some of our old interviews, right? Me and you. Yeah, or me on The Breakfast Club. I got our first interview together in Columbia, in Columbia. South Carolina on Hot 103.9. Mm. Do people know your, you your, just, your backstory, you know, really? Listen, you know how. They should, yeah. But you know how I know Joe was crazy? First time I interviewed Joe, Joe was on the right, radio We're going to have Columbia. fun with this, because yeah. I'm going to tell you how I know Joe. <laughs> right after Joe, Joe was on the radio in Columbia, South Carolina, dissing G-Unit. And I'm sitting there looking at him, and I go, yo, do you know you got a G-Unit hat on right now? <laughs> he, had a, he had a G-Unit hat that on. sounds like Joe. Dissing G-Unit. Yeah. And I'm sure his response was, I like the hat. I don't even remember what his answer I'm, was. I do not ever recall wearing a G unit hat. Bro, you had the G, I got the I got the audio. Wait, he had the matching sneakers and the wife beater too? <laughs> I don't remember. I just know he had the G unit hat. He on. definitely had the wife beat on. I've been beefing <laughs> beefing with niggas for a long time. That was two with, with great apparel. Three or four. Whatever maybe. year that was, Charlemagne is at this uh tiny radio station in Columbia. I'm not gonna say tiny, but How it's Columbia. Yeah. So I mean it's not New York. So yeah. it's a different radio station. And Charlemagne clearly had a gift. He, he clearly sounded like somebody who should be in a different market. And as somebody who was, uh, you know, thinking about all that stuff, because I did the Hot 97 morning show, and then I'm like, I can't, probably can't do this in another market. I need to be in this market. That stuff was kind of on my mind. So when I saw Charlemagne, I said, you would be great for New York radio. Word. Thank you. Right? So then your fucking trajectory happens. You end up in New York. Wait, what was that Philly first? Walk us, nah, walk York. me through this. Uh, um, Wendy, I, yeah, I was, was at, before I, Philly. Yep, I was at Howard 039 in Columbia, South Carolina, um, doing radio down there. And then Wendy got syndicated in Columbia. So she used to come on before me. But then they moved her show from uh, the afternoon slot to like 10 to 2. Because, you know, the program director down there at the time, who's, who's my man, actually, Chris Connors. I'm, we're on the station now, the Breakfast Club is. But he moved him because, like, he was very popular in the afternoons, and people still wanted to hear him. Mm-hmm. And so, like, they moved the, the 10 to 2. But they kept repeating the show over and over. So I pick it up. I, I called uh, call Kevin, Kevin Hunter, her husband, and just told him, like, yo, they keep repeating the show over and over. So he came down, heard it for himself, went back up to New York to raise hell. And then, like, maybe, like, a week later, I got um, demoted to one day a week because it was a club in the in the area that sued me. And the reason they sued me is because the dude was putting, like, date rape drug in girls' drinks and taking advantage of them. And he got arrested for it. Now, it was like one of those urban legends in Columbia. Like, mm-hmm. yo, you go to this club, girls be getting laced, whatever. But nobody could ever prove it. But then this girl actually pressed charges on him. They arrested the dude. Mm-hmm. So I took the link to his uh, arrest record and put it on my MySpace page. And when I did that, they sued me. And the radio station ended up selling it with them for $2,000. But when Kev heard about for it. For $2,000? $2,000 fucking dollars. When Kev heard about it, he thought that they had demoted me because I told them that told him that they was repeating the so show over and out. over. Yeah, so he told me to come up to New York the next week. Real nigga move, Kev. So I flew up to New York, and I went I went and did Wendy's show. Well, we, I, did, I went to a party she had. And then the party, Wendy was like, yo, come to my show tomorrow. Now, mind you, she was drunk. But you can't tell a motherfucker like me that. I'm mm-hmm. a, I'm a, I want you to follow up. I'm going to follow up on that. So the next day, I was hitting him up. And he was like, yo, come to the show. I went to the show for 25 minutes. And that night, Kev offered me... The position. He was like, yo, Wendy's looking for a co-host. Like, Wendy had it all laid out. Like, she knew she wanted to make the transition to TV. Like, back then. That was like mm-hmm. 05. He was like, yo, she wants to make the transition to TV. She wants somebody to be her co-host. She don't want a comedian. She wants somebody that's from the radio cloth. You know, you fit the mold. You know, we, we can we can give you a place to stay, but we can't pay you. I was out. Mm. That's dope. You know, I, dope. I, I recognize opportunity when it's not a paycheck attached to it. How did that, uh, how did that come to end? I don't remember the year. Um, it was November 2008, November 2nd. The reason I remember that is because November 3rd, Barack Obama became president-elect. So it was just, it was really just the economic thing. Because that was when, like, the economy was fucked up. Like, they fired, like, 20 people from WBLS that day. Okay. And I happened to be one of those people. Mm-hmm. And then you went from there to Philly. Now, I was out of radio for, like, I was out of radio for, like, eight months, eight, nine months. But I didn't mind because I just had my daughter in June. So I was like being stay at home dad, like my, mm-hmm. my my now wife was going to work, you know, paying the bills, paying the rent, holding it down, holding it down, and then um like maybe in like March or April, I got the phone call from 100.3 to beat in Philly, 
And they had listened, they was listening to me on Wendy's show, and they was like, yo, we want to try you, you know, f- with your own morning show. Now, so I, I remember in- that time, because that's when Twitter was really fun. Twitter was really oh, fun. Oh, man. Twitter was really fab fun. Fab was fab back then on Twitter. Was fab was fab. 2009? 10? 2000. Oh, this is... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Two thousand ten, eleven ish. I would no, two thousand nine. It was two thousand nine. Yeah, nine was like nine, nine, 10 nine was like nine ten. Nine started popping. Oh, it was a lot of fun. That was on nine. And yeah, I, and you know what? Time. Fab. It's good. It's funny you say Fab. Fab is the reason I probably got like one of like my most pivotal, like career changing type interviews. Because I remember waking up at like three in the morning and seeing Fab tweeting about Beanie Siegel dissing Jay Z, and I was like, what? And then that's when I, you know, got in tune and heard the disc record to Jay Z, and I'm like, Yo, I gotta get Beanie on the radio this morning. Mm-hmm. And so I got Beanie on the radio that morning. That was a Thursday. It was a th- no Friday, Thursday or Friday. I don't remember. I know I played the interview, and that's when he was going in on Jay and saying how Jay left him because he was with Jewish people and he was Muslim and yada yada yada. Hold up now, because Maul will get mad. Maul is oh, you know, Rockefeller out. I'm man. a whole fan. I'm a Pinkett Smith one from those cars. <laughs> I got him, Maul. But, <laughs> but, but, but literally, it was dope because it became such a viral viral moment. And then that Saturday, somebody actually caught Jay Z at like a press conference or something and asked him about it. And he spoke about it, which is so not Jay. Mm-hmm, you don't catch that. Jay like that. And then that Monday, they was calling me in the office telling me to, uh, they was moving in another direction. Mm. <laughs> so, right. so the headline became. Jay Z mm. got Charlemagne fired mm. from 100 points to beat and, and you had Hove on the Breakfast Club before. Yeah, did you ask him that? That was off, the first off, question. Off air? Oh, no, was that it? was the first question. I don't remember. It was a while ago. That was the very first. What, what, was, what was Hove's answer? He, did, he didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's an answer though. That's a, that's a J answer. <laughs> he just did the Hove look like. <laughs> yeah. I'm like okay. Yeah. Yeah. When right, when are you, when are you leaving the Breakfast Club? Not no time soon. I just signed a new deal. I signed a new deal. It's my second year, my five year deal. I signed mm. a long term deal. Envy, he signed already. Envy too. We all signed. Oh, slow down. Yeah, we gonna be into the Breakfast Club at least well into our forties. Mm, I just spoke to you. Envy think the that? Other day. Oh yeah, well yeah. Envy, no, no. Envy's going. I don't know. Envy's yeah, yeah, singing yeah, that yeah, same too. You're right. You're right. Let's slow down. Nah, he's in negotiations. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's yeah, a little yeah, different than every all just signing and ready to rock. Mm. Nah, he's in negotiations. Mm. See, because gotta... the same bets that you had on my Everyday Struggle show. Which is funny because that's just a new show, so the chances of that are very unlikely unless I just fuck it up, which I'm known to do. But y'all, now, The Breakfast Club, with all of your success, Mm -hmm. with your different roles, especially with all this extra shit you are doing, Mm -hmm. Envy 2 now as well, extra shit is cool now to do. How long are we giving them to stay together? Honestly, we don't want to hear this media train bullshit he's telling us. I don't know. Uh, mm. Even with how many people you guys have, Rory just asked me this the other times. day, right? About what? Oh. About them? We- yeah, I said it with Hot ninety seven and with Breakfast Club. I'm not sure how okay. long these morning shows are gonna last because people are doing so many other great things outside of those. And you got your stick is interviewing people, obviously. No, it's not. You don't think so? Mm. No, I keep telling. I, I keep telling you that. Why not? I, I, Howard Stern and Wendy Williams. I learned that from them. If you got to rely on interviews, I'm not then saying you're you relying on it. I, I think don't that's think your that's stick, what though. He's trying to say. I'm not saying you're relying yeah. on it. I think mm-hmm. that's your stick. I think that's what made you guys so popular. You've interviewed damn near everybody a couple times. Um, How long do you see these being compelling? But see, I don't think it's just the interviews that keep us going. No, you got to think, Roy. We'll be on the radio four I'm hours a day, Monday through Friday. I know, I know. People, people sit in traffic and listen to you like, guys. I get like, that like, part. Go, I'm we, talking we, about... We, we literally go months without interviews sometimes. Like, we go a couple months without... Yeah. Inter- yeah, without interviewing anybody, especially around the February, March, March era, like, time. Like, there's nothing going on. Mm. Or, like, around the mm. holiday season. Like, so, so you don't think the interviews built the audience outside of radio? Um, I think they helped a whole lot. I think they helped a whole lot. Plus, I think a lot of the things that that I've done and said on the I, radio. Helped I think a whole that lot. made you in particular extremely popular. That I, that specific I, lane I, I, I in Breakfast you, Club. You're gonna you, tell you, Charlotte you an, what made him popular. I love it. Oh, I, I, I like it. I'll give you an example. Like last week, right? Uh, Bill Cosby daughters reached out to me, mm-hmm. and Bill Cosby daughters wanted to release a statement on the Breakfast Club. Dope. Stuff like that. That's a that's a moment. It may not be a hip hop moment, of course, but it's it's a radio that's, moment. That's worldwide news. That mm. shit is on like USA Today. Shit like that. Well, I was saying or, you more in particular. Or, I think or, that made you extremely popular. Is that maybe? Or, or, like, signing on YouTube and watching? Charlamagne you press- know that, that his fucking interviewing skill is one of the reasons for <laughs> I don't his think ascension. It's, I don't think it's just interviews though, because like, I gave Donkey today to Christine Leahy last week of Fox Sports. That became a thing. Like Jason Whitlock. I love this on, Jason Whitlock. Yeah, shit. he went in on me. I on commend Colin, you for that. On Colin Cowell's Jason show. Jason Whitlock's like, a piece of shit. We're done with him. But that's just me. Me talking. 
I'm you know aware. what I mean? Like that's just Again, the moment. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is the only thing that's keeping you guys alive. Clearly, it's not. You're syndicated all over the country. Mm -hmm. I just think you in particular, that interview on YouTube, watching you next to the guest, pressing them, made you in particular as probably the most popular person. Sure, I'm, I'm not going to just let you say I shoot three-pointers. That's not what I do a little I, bit more. I'm not saying that. <laughs> well, you wrote a book. I got book. a more of a well-rounded game. <laughs> you, wrote a, you wrote a book. Yeah, you can't say that. This is passing Rory? and dribbling. I'm not going to allow you to just say I just shoot <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Charlamagne? <laughs> it, it seemed like him and Rory got some little underlying shit going nah, on. I, 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 I want to. I want to continue addressing all of my underlying shit. Let's see? go. Let's go. This but is... now, see now, Charlamagne, you're good, man. <laughs> what do you mean I'm good? Joe's good. Charlamagne is polarizing. Duh. You're not Joe. Yes, I am. Oh, I think this is one of the many reasons that we clash a lot. I think we're more alike than we're different, so we're going to continue to clash a lot. Speaking of, L.A. Reid, when I went on... Fuck L.A. Reid, if I haven't said that enough in the past no, two I, weeks. Uh, I'm shocked. There's um, any why, new why breaking news? Why is it fuck L.A., though? I gotta, like, your critique on him is not bad, but why is it fuck him? Because I know, I know Rory's going to fucking cry when I talk bad about L.A. Reid. <laughs> he might. I was in the building Yo, chill, bro, just chill. to witness a lot. Are you, are you I, mad? He dropped you, right? No, and that's. And that, <laughs> are you sure? No, no, I, want, I, no, I wanted to address that because he said that adding to a false narrative. Before LA got there, I yeah. was trying my best to get the fuck out that building. I was talking to Skane like, "Listen, tell me what I could do to get out of here." And Skane was saying to me, "This is before LA got there. Listen, it's going to be hard to move you. You're coming off of what is deemed as a flop, so you're not going to get your value when you go elsewhere. It's better to just stay." Stick it out. See what they about. See what's happening. Okay. So, so it wasn't that. It wasn't that. I thought he called you in office and said you were too wordy. No, we had that conversation. Okay. That was toward the end. At the end, when it was, but this was after. This was after. Uh, uh, Stunting. This was after uh, Gangsta Party. This was after things were working okay. there. So uh, then he called me in the office, I guess, to hear the rest of the album. But Def Jam was trying to put an album out on me I with, when I didn't know. Like, yeah. without my consent, they were having listening parties. They was doing wild shit when L.A. got there. Wait, you wasn't invited to your own listening party? <laughs> they were scheduling <laughs> shit That's without wild. the artists. <laughs> I'm really? telling you what. But so my nah, beef, right. Charlamagne, my beef with L.A. comes from, and I get that my tone and my delivery, it makes it sound really personal. You said and it is fuck personal. L.A. Reed. I'm going to always say that. I'm too passionate okay. about the culture. And because I witnessed it, I witnessed the staple of hip hop and all that Def Jam was be turned into some total bullshit. Rory brought up a great point last podcast, and he oh, was thanks. absolutely Finally. no, he was absolutely right. <laughs> Please, L.A. Check Reed your mentions. did not ruin Def Jam. Music really did change. I feel like you got to think about Def Jam. Def Jam had all of these lyricists: oh, Method oh Man, Red Man, Joe Budden. Oh five, it was all oh, about the was South. The most significant years. Little in John life. came up in oh five. Like Little John, it was all about it was the Laffy South. Laffy Taffy. What, we what, was throwing shit in the air and L snapping. L.A. went and actually mm. made great moves. He signed Jeezy. And if in Rory, what you should have said last podcast, I said that <laughs> was Jeezy has said that numerous times. That has come out of Jeezy's mouth. L.A. Reid signed. I needed ice to back me on that one. You can get whoever you want to I, back you. Everybody with a brain knows that Shakir is responsible for Jeezy. Yeah, Sha well, Shakir so couldn't make so, the signature there. So why do y'all continue to tell me about L.A. Reid? But that wasn't even my point. I had a point I was getting to with L.A. Reid because I heard Charlemagne say on whatever podcast that was, the you compared. Idiot. You've been doing so much press, so I don't know. Okay. Um, and you don't even know what I'm about to say, so you don't know where the fuck you said it. Exactly, right. plug media train, man. Right. So, but I heard you say that the L.A. I heard you compare the L.A. Reid sex allegations, sex charge, whatever the shit is, to my domestic abuse. Yes, I said that history. you should have more sympathy. I would think you would have more sympathy, oh, being that you great. used to get so mad at this me. This is the greatest thing ever, right now. You would get so mad at me when I would mm -hmm. bring that shit up that like true. that. So I thought you would have more sympathy for L.A. Reid. Do you think that those two are the same? And then you find you it mean? awkward silence. I'm asked, I'm, 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 I, want, I want to make sure he's finished. Do you think that those two are the same? It depends what it is. I mean, is, all right. Is, so is, let me is, so let me is, paint is, it. Is so LA let me sexual allegations like I mean any type of uh, LA has settled out. Okay. Numerous occasions. Okay. On these allegations. Okay. I have not settled anything. I've gone to court and all of these charges have been dismissed and thrown away yeah, and laughed Joe, at. You're, you're still, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. 
wait a minute, best selling okay. author man, because okay. this be my fucking point with you. You know okay. better than the shit that you spew. You certainly are not comparing L.A. Reid settling out numerous times to fucking sexual assault charges to. Hold on, they wait, sexual wait. assault charges? Because they're sexual assault charges, it's absolutely the same thing. Assault is assault. Whether no. it's domestic violence or sexual assault, assault is a I'm, woman is I'm assault. saying that you continue to compare the two. One gentleman continues to settle out. One just keeps getting thrown out. How well, do you compare well, the well, two? Well, wait, get, wait, wait. He's getting sued and you're getting arrested. So yours is criminal, his is more is civil. No, and by dismissed. the way, Joe, wait, dismiss, 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 dismiss. Let me tell you how no, good don't Joe dance is. Don't dance out of this. Don't dance, oh, no. don't dance out that corner. No, no. Let me tell you how good Joe is. <laughs> Joe came on the Breakfast Club after he had allegations against Esther Baxter. Right? I remember. We did Breakfast Club Court. One of the worst interviews ever. Esther, that was great, by the way. It was for y'all. It was great for y'all. Yeah, yeah. Esther. It was a pretty Esther good accused I didn't be him. Here. Esther accused him of sitting on her stomach. Mm. So I say to Joe, Joe, did you sit on her stomach? You know what Joe says to me? <laughs> no, I sat below her breasts. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. What the fuck? Hey, what hey, the fuck? I want to be very Dude, clear. What the fuck? I want to be very clear. Number one, that was so not one of my best interviews. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, I did not want to be there. Number three, I cannot speak to my headspace then, but boy, that was poor wording. Now. Do you think? <laughs> so he, so, 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 Charlemagne, you sat, see, this is my th- you sat Charlo, below her breast. Charla fucking Maine, if you don't, what? I will not allow you to do that on this podcast. You will not be that elusive. You are comparing the two. Yeah, I don't care about. One. I don't care about me misspeaking on your fucking show. I'm okay. talking about L.A. Reid continuing to pay off. <laughs> Listen. And the court thrown something out. I, I, now, I don't wait, think that's no, common wait, knowledge. Wait, think, wait, let me finish. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. I'm talking about yeah. his knowledge, not common knowledge. That's number one. Number two, okay. now, funny that you say you would think I would be a bit more empathetic toward L.A. Reid because one of my gripes with you is you have some, some shit that looked like some shit, but shit happened. What? And What do you mean, what? You've what? been Tell accused me. of shit. You've been charged with shit. Oh, you mean rape? Yes. No. What do you mean? You it's can't just casually book. say that. It's in the book. Oh, you mean? It's in the it's book. It's in the book. It's in the like, book. Like, like you're talking right. about a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, you mean the rape page, charge that I caught? Page, page yes, you piece of shit. Not in the book. It's in the book. This motherfucker's crazy. It's in the book. Joe, why do you know that? Joe, Joe. But Joe, why do you know that? What do you mean, why do I know that? Why do you know that? Because I've said it. Maybe he read the book. Well, no, I'm not saying... (laughs) I've never hit from that. No, that's that's not my point in mentioning it. My point in mentioning it is anytime you've ever brought up my fucking domestic history or lack of, uh, I'd be saying, yo... Charlemagne has dealt with women. You just know that shit happens sometimes. Not that you hit a woman. No, I, I'm talking I, about I women oh, being, okay. I'm talking about I women being emotional, no. women yeah. saying yeah. something, say women lying, you know women maneuver. Like you a nigga at the end yeah. of the day. So I'm like, yo, he has to know okay. that because he experienced but at that. Same that. Time, <laughs> he's saying at the same time he's saying when LA's being accused of these things and they could be false, you should be more sensitive I would because think Joe you've been would. through that. I would think That's Joe I, would. I, I, Charlemagne, I mean, I do you know you that I have I had Wale. conversations with women who... who well, who, I don't know that, Joe. I, I'm, t- I'm telling you. This oh, is okay. me telling you. I'm going to be honest I have, with you. I, I, those the, same the most women, shocking thing about the sexual allegations with L.A. was that they were with women. Because I thought that L.A. was gay. <laughs> That's you know, what I, I thought historically. Mm-hmm. That's, That's the thing I used to hear. When you Listen. love okay. somebody. So, hey, so, now, and, I'm, and, and this is my only tasteless <laughs> moment that I'll have here. But, hey, Antonio Reed, baby. God. Baby. Baby. That closet been open, man. Just come on out, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Antonio Reed, no. God, good damn. Yo, I, yo, I, I, all right, I, whatever. I, I thought that's what it always was. So, honestly, when Joe was wilding on uh, L.A., I thought it was two things. Either he's mad L.A. dropped him <clears throat> no. or L.A. tried him. Because I've heard those stories. <laughs> <laughs> because we've heard those stories. I've heard. L.A. tried him is crazy. You know, I've heard those stories. Yeah. L.A. will walk in with the silk so robe that, on. So that you're Come too, on, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, man. So that your too wordy conversation really was the uh, uh, underlying I don't thing. know. I was just trying to like. So L.A. was really telling me to just not say no words? <laughs> I, was just, I think so. I'm trying to do that. I was trying to figure, <laughs> I was trying to figure out why Joe was so upset. And those are two different conversations. If, if L.A. is accused of sexual allegations and he's guilty of that shit, he's a, he's a piece of shit. And yes, he shouldn't be in the music industry manipulating his power, period. But So you do feel like that. But that's not why you said he shouldn't be in the Time music out. industry. Time out. But this is a new point now. So okay. you do feel like that. Absolutely. When the fuck have you ever said that? What do you mean? 
I've never heard you say that. Joe, and I that tw- gets to I my tw- beef on no, no, your no, platform. No. I tweeted you last week and I said... I ain't talking about some fucking no, listen, characters. Listen, listen, no, listen. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe said don't. something to me about L.A. last week and I tweeted, I said, I said Joe, you don't, even under, you don't even know my position on L.A. sexual allegations. You never asked me. Sure. Like, the music thing is one thing. Sexual allegations is a whole other thing. Why do your tweets count and not mine, though? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to well, him. I'm fucking with you. And I told him, well, I, I, he said he can't wait till Tuesday. But that's my beef about, about, his, about your platform, too. Okay. Because you can discuss some of this shit. I See, and that's, my, and that's why I think you have to kind of shit on me a little bit. And let's get it, <laughs> let's get it there. There aren't too many polarizing people here. Yeah. I agree with what you said on your podcast. There's room for everybody. Absolutely. More than enough room for everybody. However, I disagree. When that's not Rory, stop it. You know, you're absolutely right. Andrew well, should be the only white boy on podcast. Well, my next then, point <laughs> is <laughs> my next you, point don't though. Divide is, and conquer us. When has there ever been an everybody? Now. It's always been that way, Joe. Slow down. All right, so let me ask you, do you view High 97 as competition? No, I don't view anybody as competition. I feel like the only competition stop I got it. is me. Stop I'm, it. I'm Wait a minute. Serious. Oh, no. Okay, I get I'm that serious. fucking author, man. Would you stop authoring me? This nigga keeps saying I'm, author I'm, shit, I'm, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to really, really tell you my mindset. It's in the book. It's I'm going really, yeah. to really tell you my mindset. And I got this from, you know, uh, Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. If you're, con- if, you're, if you're considered the best, who else do you got to be better than other than yourself? That is true. So it's like I'm not like who's comp like what is competition? It's, it's people that inspire me, but they don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Well, there was okay. a period. There was a period where you addressed them frequently. I addressed. I addressed two people. I them. only even take no notice of it because it was one of the very few times that I've ever heard a personality on one station speak by name. <laughs> uh, a personality yeah. on another station on on a compete. Funk Master Flex and Mr. C. First of all, there is no radio personality who was gonna let that Mr. C. shit slide. <laughs> right? He was a serial purchaser of penis. He got caught three different times, bro. <laughs> That's like how you, go, how you? Gonna I don't think, I don't I don't know how he could do this and have that L. A. Reed stance. What do you mean? It's the same fucking shit. L. A. Reed was fucking trannies. I mean, <laughs> Joe's wild. Joe, I'm not, Joe I'm not, telling me shit. Not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say Joe, that. Joe, you telling but me shit. But if somebody I don't told know. you that, would it be a shock? But Joe, you're telling me shit. I don't know. I don't know anything about. All that. right, you were saying about. Yeah, uh, and, and Flex is a, Flex is a legend. So it's like when I went at when I went at Mr. C. And then Flex jumped out there, and Flex was like, y'all really want to do this? Yes, I do. <laughs> Absolutely. We just started this 2011. 2000, what I got to lose? Yes, right. I would love to go toe-to-toe with you. So Flex. they, at the time... They were competition. No, it's different with Flex and C. They legends. I, listen, the only reason I don't acknowledge Flex now is because I gave him a eulogy two years ago, and I don't talk to Why don't you acknowledge Ebro? I, I don't see the need. To be totally honest with you, to be one hundred percent, I don't see the need. And it's like, yo, I met him twice in my life, right? And I've never said this anyway. I met him twice in my life. Last time I met him, I think was was this year. It was this year. It was at Colin Kaepernick's Know Your Right camp. And you know, he, he walked up to me and he gave me a pound. And he was like, yo, my name's you know such and such. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And then like twenty minutes later, he was asking me to take a picture. He's like, yo, fam, you know we got to take a picture. And I was like, I'm not taking no picture with you. Wait a minute, like, wait a minute. I'm like, yo, minute. you get, I'm like, yo, you slandered me on the radio 100 miles per hour. You called me wait. a coon or Uncle Tom and you want to take a picture? Wait. And he was like, nah, I'm just saying. I never said you wasn't talented. I just said that, you know, I didn't like what you did with Tommy Lauren. He asked me to take a picture, bro. Like, mm. We got Ja Rule on the phone. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what Ja is talking to him on this tragic. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm hearing things correctly. Yeah. Is that the story? Really? That's a fact. He he might he might deny it, but that's a fact. This is why that's funny. You know, like you know, like you check in whatever hotel it is, the Radisson or whatever, and they offer you like a chocolate chip cookie or some shit, you just gotta it does something to your man. It don't, you don't, don't want chocolate chip cookies chocolate from the Radisson. Cookie, <laughs> Asking another man for a picture is kind of like at, uh, listen, matter of yeah. fact, ask Scotty Beam. You and Scotty Beam cool, right? Yes. Ask Scotty Beam. Scotty Beam was there. Me and Deani are very cool. Because I wanted, I actually wanted Scotty on a, a show, the same show I wanted Ak on. I wanted Scotty on, and she didn't do it. And the reason she didn't do it was because of her relationship over there. And I, I respect that, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's when the radio politics fucks up the next generation. Mm. Because mm-hmm. she shouldn't feel like she has to choose sides when it comes to some other form of media based off 
her affiliation over there. That's you true. know what I mean? Like I, 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 we, I said that. That was a conversation we had in that moment. And it's so weird because we actually talked there for a while, but no, no pictures came out. Well, actually, people did try to take pictures, and he was like, oh, he don't want to take a picture with me. So it's like, I, I, I don't see the need. You think it was a setup? Nah, it wasn't a setup. It's just that I know that. You're smart. You could have had an angle for it. I know that's not real. Mm-hmm. Like I just know, I just know it's not real. Like it's not a real situation. Like whatever I hit when some when people tweet me and they're like, "Oh, they're getting at you on the radio." I'm like, "Okay, mm-hmm. cool." Like it don't benefit me to go to, to go at them in any way, shape, or form. I'm still not off a nigga asking for a picture. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be perfectly yo, honest. Yo, that, fam, that's that's, that's rough, man. Ebro, really, come on, man. That's, I can't look at Ebro up. doing that. I can't. Uh, oh, that's that, a little. Uh, no, that's why on, I think there he. was something behind it. Ebro, smart man. No, nah, it's just attention. You was gonna want, be on that summer jam screen. You, you want attention? They, yeah. Listen, now nah, you're gonna take the picture and it's gonna be all over Baller Alert and Shade Room and everywhere else. You think Ebro would post that picture? Why not? Why else would you want to take it? Why would Ebro post that picture? I'm, I'm gonna shoot Ebro some bail. It. I don't think Ebro's posting. Even if he asked to take that picture, why Ebro would look like a fucking nutcase to post a picture Joe, in Charlemagne? Joe, what, what, See, what, but that's what I mean. Joe, this nigga celebrities getting bigger. If niggas are asking him to take pictures, e- why is Ebro asking Charlemagne to take a picture if that story is true? I'm not gonna lie. Again, I think there's something. I think there's something behind it. (laughs) I think Ebro had a plan. Maybe so. The plan was. I'm not. I don't know what the the plan plan was. was, The plan is to get retweets. (laughs) And like, <laughs> what are you talking I don't think, about? I don't you, think Ebro would do that. The plan deep, is to get You're digging too deep into it. The plan is I know, I know Ebro, tweets. so I know there is typically something deeper in Ebro when he moves. Man, listen, man. I think he was going to have you on a summer jam screen. Uh, that's that cool. picture was <laughs> <gonna be> like, <laughs> in a tutu like Prodigy. Yeah. To do Photoshop. What? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. man. Listen, don't, none, like, none, of that, none of that stuff bothers me. And the reason it don't bother me is because I came to New York in 2006 <clears> with Wendy's show. <throat> Left New York in 08. Was out for a minute, came back, went to Philly, came back here in 2010. I feel like I've accomplished a lot in the past six, seven years. Would you say so, Joe? I would agree. You, you're, 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 you've been in the radio game. I would agree. Do you feel like I've accomplished a whole lot? Like, you know. That's true. You know, yeah. po- your podcast. I'm not going to ask you for a picture. A lot yeah. of TV shows, executive producing TV shows. Show New York Times <laughs> bestselling book. I'm doing okay. Would you say that I've, I've, I've maybe even lapped some of the people who've been here in New York for a long time? Talk your shit. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I question. would say so. Yeah. All right. Slow down. So. I got to play devil's advocate. Okay. Lap. <laughs> how big is the how big is the thing? <laughs> how big is One the lap. how big is the track? <laughs> Who's he lapped? I'm, I'm not gonna. He's lapped. Name he's names. I'm pussy. So you said that. What the fuck you say? <laughs> no. just, just, I mean, I'm just asking. Do you think so? I think that you have a lot in common with the people that are against you. And what I will say is. Part of my issue with the entire, e- not the entire, Ebro mm-hmm. and Peter. Oh, he's another one. That's ridiculous. He's another one that's ridiculous. Like, and that, and that really, I'm going to tell you, like, okay, I'll tell you another story, which I, which I don't even understand. And I don't even, that's why I ignored him. Um, before, the, before the election, all, he's sending me texts like, yo, we need to come together and. and uh, Peter. Yeah. And that go, sounds right. And, and okay. go against Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why do I need you to go against Donald Trump? (laughs) There's power numbers. Like, what are you talking about? But why would you want to ride with a motherfucker you claim to hate? Like, that's what I don't be understanding. Like, that shit is... I'm not mad at that one. Is it radio hate or is it radio hate? No, I'm not mad at I don't know what it is. I think it's probably just competition. If I I saw Flex out or Mr. C, I wouldn't even speak to them. I damn sure wouldn't ask him for no picture. Well, I damn sure wouldn't send him no email and be like, yo, let's let's work together again. Well, that's you. Other my, people, my other beef, people like, my think beef with ways. Peter and Ebro, maybe not so much Ebro, but a lot of times Pete, Peter is, they have let uh, not only my, my relationship with Charlemagne, but I think artists having a relationship with Charlemagne affect their relationship. Mm, that's with, true. With them. So, so, when Charlemagne is calling me a woman beater every fucking week on on there, I called you a woman beater in years. I mean, I mean Stop. I, I, when no matter, but I'm Wednesdays saying when it was button. happening, Peter is looking like, well, you continue to go up there, you continue to fuck with them, but over here, you and my brain never operates that way. Like my brain never operates like I I handle people just in my dealing with them. 
Not in relation to what the fuck they do with somebody else. Man, if I was like that in this industry. <laughs> by, the, by, by the way, we've never played that game. Our artists, is, we've never said, yo, you go over there, you can't come to us. They do that to us all the time. We've never done that. Because to me, I'm like, yo, the, the, the best interview is going gonna, is gonna to pop anyway. Yeah. It don't matter to me. Like, go ahead. Do your thing. Like, we're going to, you do your thing, we're going to do ours, and the people are going to gravitate towards whatever interview they gravitate towards. Here's a question for the three of you that has zero to do with Charlemagne or radio or any of this shit, because the Billboard Awards was on the other night, and I don't want to talk about all of it. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about the Drake show? You mean right. the show yeah. that, that Drake showed up to because they promised him 13 awards? The, the OVA and yes. awards. And gave him all the tickets that he could possibly <laughs> handle? And mm. invited Good whoever he was So y'all we all tuned in? Okay, so wait. Uh, wait, Maul is OVO. Yeah, Maul. No, I, and Maul Rockefeller. Maul was so actually the one that sat down Tory and Listen. Drake and let them Whatever. mend out their problems. I'm just asking. So you say that they promised him 13 awards. Are you saying he wasn't deserving of those 13 awards? No, he definitely was deserving. But I mean, I'm, I'm, my mind is thinking about, didn't Drake say he wasn't doing award shows anymore? Like, I need to know when did he decide he wanted to do award shows again. Because I swear, I thought he beat swore a record. off award shows. When they gave him 13. Yeah. <laughs> when he, when but they beat Adele's record. All, all of this is great. I, but <laughs> that was probably the most successful night that anyone could have in the worst possible shirt that they could have it in. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one paying attention to that fucking custom long john he had I on? Didn't pay, I didn't even pay no attention. He's really accepting pay, yeah. 13 fucking awards in a designer long john. I don't care more. I didn't even pay uh, no I don't, I don't care if that shit, man. I thought the photo was photoshopped. He was kind of blum. Because I didn't see, I didn't watch the award. Yo, that you shirt know, was you, uh, trash. I, I, you know, I was thinking when I saw him up there, especially when he was up there with all the young money, I was like, wow, look how roles reverse. Because <laughs> Drake is the young money now. What Lil Wayne was the cash money maybe eight, nine years yeah. ago. When cash money was looking yeah. like it was mm -hmm. about a rap and it yeah. was over. Mm -hmm. And Wayne was the only person keeping them afloat. Yeah. That's how Drake looks right now. Well, I mean, if you would have asked me three weeks ago, I would have said that Drake was over young money and out of here. But then the whole Nicki Wayne reunion shit happened with the no fraud shit. So it seems like they're Man. back on together. Oh, he's Canadian, too. Canadian people are very loyal. Seems like they're back <laughs> on Girls from Toronto together. are very loyal, by the way. That well, whole... they're giving their perception because they're out together all the time yeah, now. And yeah, but... It seems that's the perception sometimes, that they're to give But the sometimes you give off information without really trying to give off information. So what I watched when I saw that entire shit, I agree with Charlemagne. Drake is on the stage looking like that nigga. He's that nigga. Every award, he's thanking his manager. He's thanking niggas we never even heard nobody think before <laughs> so he's looking great mm -hmm. he thanked more too Wayne is in the audience looking proud but not looking like Wayne yeah cause you can't be too right? proud if you're not getting your checks and Nikki is next right. to him saying screaming to the stage well what about me I think all of that is very telling as to mm. that entire brand I think she was just being a woman oh please <laughs> I just think women do that if you don't <laughs> no, knock it yeah, off by the way, I just think women say what about me no matter way, what nobody's paying attention to the three records Nicki put out that flop by the way we've said that multiple times no fraud no frauds did okay it, but no, it I mean for the, it had the iHeart Radio stimulus package and it still didn't like that's why explode. I'm saying it flopped because it definitely had like it literally package. it was like Number twenty it had the and then dropped to like eighty the next too. week. Well, that's why I was I was you know she just went on this whole long rant about what a what a hit is, and I'm like y'all gotta stop just rushing the judgment on a hit just because everybody's going to it on their phones. What did y'all What did y'all think of uh, her opening the awards? I didn't even see it. I would have taken the Drake medley over the Nicki medley. All right, so fuck. I didn't all even that. know let's, all the. Records. All right, so let's just get to the nigga shit real quick. So well, her, wanna... her and Nas. <laughs> let's talk about it. Is, <laughs> is, that, is that official? Is it official? You oh, really well, can't? Well, well. You don't even sound right saying that, Joe. It's a little I'm not, I'm, I, nah. I, can't, I can't handle I journalist care. Joe. No, I like it. Journalist Joe <laughs> like, like what do you think about Nas and Nikki? I'm wait, like, what? because he's taking his spot? <laughs> Is it yeah, he's, he's taking, taking my spot. Nah. Joe's, Joe's definitely taking my spot. <laughs> why, do you, why do people keep saying that? Because we're alike. Because, um, because we're alike I mean, in a way. I mean, like, no, I, it's just a morning show. It's two totally different lanes. My show that, comes on damn in the afternoon. But, but that's the I've been thing. on a month. Like somebody said to me today, um, why would you tell academics not to go with complex, complex is competition? I'm like, yo, they're internet shows. Academics is an internet personality. Complex is a fucking website. Like, The Breakfast Club is a radio show that happens to put its interviews online. If The Breakfast Club started getting zero views tomorrow on YouTube, as long as we're still top three in ratings on terrestrial radio, we're fine. That's mm -hmm. the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, Un I mean, you can't do until, a show by yourself. Un until someone over there at fucking across the Dow decides to wisen up, then I'm on y'all ass. 
Then I'm on y'all ass. The reason, the reason, the reason I don't, I'm, not, I'm gonna tell you, what, I'm definitely not. Going to Joe, <laughs> Joe, fuck that's that your competition. Up. Hold on, Joe, fuck that up already. That guy screaming. Come on, come on. Wait, as a 21 year old, don't do that. That's you, Joe, hold on. <laughs> Joe, fuck that up already. Yo, I was over there sleeping under the board. I was doing wild. shit I used shit. to hear crazy shit about you, man. I did wild shit over there, man. I've done wild shit throughout the course of my career. I've done wild more. shit everywhere. Joe. But why did you leave? Then? Why did you leave then shit. when you was doing mornings? Right Kevin now? Kevin Lowes told told me that it was too much accessibility. Why would why would a, why would the fans purchase my music if they could hear me every morning on Hot ninety seven? So I had to make a choice. Is what he told me. And what's crazy is uh, fifteen years later, now they'll tell you that you should do that to get more accessible. One hundred percent. Well, listen, I could well, I could I could assess Lawrence. everything that's wrong with Trey songs to Kevin Lowes right now. Kevin Lowes and his dinosaur thinking in that brain. Just a lot of old school shit. A lot of old school shit. But we won't talk about that. So that's what he told me then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I stopped. Yeah. But I always did know that whenever the rap shit was, you know, we could go go do radio. But where would I do it at? Listen, I, I love these conversations about you know, um, you know, everyday struggle being competition. First of all, I think that everything makes the league better. Like I don't, I don't care if it's everyday struggle. I don't care if it's Jesus and Mero. I don't care if it's tax when tax was home. Everything makes the whole league better. But the reason I say hip hop fans are so fickle is it's like, bro, it's been a month. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like, tell y'all when like, y'all like, niggas just like, fucking critiquing me. It's been a month. But well, I that, mean, I feel that way about artists too. Like, if an artist got a hot single, you don't jump out there and be like, oh, he's the next hove. Like, no, no they do, though. And that's stupid. <laughs> they do. That's just dumb they to do. me. I they eat do. right back to no frauds. This is the biggest record that's, of the that's year. That's dumb. <laughs> like, like, that's stupid. Even, yo, I love guys like Kendrick. You can't put Kendrick in the greatest of all time category yet, man. Why? You, I just don't think you can. I just think it's too early. Give him a moment. Like, give him a moment. I, I know it's three. I know it's three albums. albums. Like my, my thing is this: When did we start saying like Jay was the greatest? Or when did we start saying Nas was the greatest? I don't think it was three albums. Well, un- and- unfortunately, we couldn't look at Jay like that until Big left. Mm. Big leaving really helped people look at Jay in his proper light. No, nah, I, I, I think even way after that. I don't I think, think we blue, start around Blueprint. Blue, there you go. Was, I don't was, think we started looking at Jay like that until Blueprint. I think Hove. Blueprint is when we was like, whoa. Blueprint was the one, and then with Black Album, it was he was, was the then. greatest. Yeah, and by that point, that was like, the oh, best marketing plan absolutely. ever. Absolutely. He dropped a classic on nine eleven. Him and Fab both dropped on nine eleven. Mm-hmm. Blueprint came out on nine eleven, yeah, and they both sold. I remember they, yep. them both being a little worried in the building that yep. week, and it mattered none. I mean, and, and, and honestly, that's my like, that's my. If, if anything, I want people to take away from this podcast today is that like, yo, it's good when it's more than one entity. Out here in this space. Remember when you tried to break Relly? Yes, I did. Don't get mad, Maul. I'm glad you. I'm glad you said Maul. Chill, because Maul want to Maul want to snuff Relly. You want to snuff Maul want to snuff Relly. Relly didn't work, and that's my man. Relly's a better writer than he is a personality. I tried to use Relly on TV. I tried to use. I bought him on the podcast. I bought Relly on before tax. Yeah, I I know. Yeah, Relly was tax was your Relly that worked. Tax work, but tax, because that's, listen, when I did uh, my first season of Uncommon Sense and I, I auditioned all of these different internet personalities, because I'm like, yo, you got all these guys that are funny on social media, all these women that are funny on social media, let's bring them in. Literally, out of the 67 people we interviewed, three might have been ready. Now, and, and, or even just decent, able to hold the conversation, mm-hmm. look mm-hmm. you in the eyes yeah. when they talk, you know. Tough. Tax was one. Ravy, Ravy B was another. Ravy. Raven was? I thought so. I don't think I've seen her do like I, I radio so. or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, she was. No, she's one of my closest she, friends. Yeah, Ravi was good in the that. room. Other than that, nobody. Like honestly, nobody. Well, I've, I've said on this podcast, it's much. It's easy to be funny on Twitter. It's hard to do. You got to be quick yeah, on a podcast corny, on radio. Niggas, like, yeah, yeah. They, they don't really speak to people in real life. Back to my Wale act point. A lot of people just live in their phone and live online. They're introverts, which is totally fine. But you can't come out in this world and think you're going to be amazing and shit on people that do this every day. I bought academics in when I first started on Common Sense. Didn't it didn't work. It didn't translate in the room. He was mm. okay. But he wasn't like he was. He's more. He's a lot more vocal now. Of course, I mean it takes people time. But I mean the people we had on that show, yeah, tax on that show, we had Jesus and Mero. I like them. Yeah, they do a great job. Zuri Hall, who's on the E Network now, like that's why it, it bugs me out when people are like, oh, you you hating on academics. Uh, Maul and I didn't get a call, like, but that's fine. I just I just I just thought ahead about Maul. By the way, Maul is what makes this podcast like he was the missing piece. Great, I think. absolutely. 
He's the I couldn't wait to fire uh, Marissa. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> See, you heard what he just said? And you wonder why I think every day Scrubs won that. <laughs> he got rid of Marissa, so I thought Marissa. Charlamagne, let me be very while. clear. Before before academics did your podcast, I told him if I hear something I do not like, I'm getting you fired. <laughs> I don't Joe, play. you don't like anything. I'm not with the shits. Mm. I'm not with the shits. Joe doesn't like I'm anything. I'm not with insubordination or people interrupting the fucking plan and, and the journey. Mar- you know Marissa had to go. Don't do that. I, I didn't even say anything. I bought Marissa <laughs> in, too. I had the same show I had uh, I had Ak in, Ak, Ak, academics in. I had Marissa in. I had her, I had her come audition. The show I wanted Scotty for. I think it's a big mistake hot letting Scotty walk out the door. I said that, on a podcast to jump back, already, to jump back to radio. Helping. That is a big mistake. But you know, I'm having a, con- a, a private conversation with Envy that I probably ain't supposed to talk about. But Envy has been vocal about you know how hot treated him on the way out. Mm. I never like a lot of so people have been vocal about. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what. what may, maybe been. Diani wanted to leave and was like, I don't care about the bag. But I would have thrown. She's been there forever. She's you obviously very much in touch with what's going on right now. She's the farm young. System. She's, you can't she's get rid very of the farm attractive. System. She's perfect to blend Boy, into her own show. I mean, I don't. I, I just recently started talking to her. I started talking to her that Colin Kaepernick thing, but I don't talk to her on the regular. What, what were they offering her? Oh, oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have no yeah, idea. Like, why, like, why did she I just, leave? I wouldn't have let her leave. I don't know. She didn't she go not, anywhere. Like, no, she went somewhere. But I mean, that's I'm not, not sure for me to say. Announced it or not? So that's I'm not. That's not, not for me to say. It's for her to say. But is it going to be in New York? Yeah. That's not for me to well, say. Well, let it go other than power. I haven't heard. Well, don't from don't her. say that because it was a complex. Yeah, they, she oh, could have yeah, went right, to Everyday right, Struggle. You don't know. No, she didn't come to Everyday Struggle. She didn't return my text when I was looking for a moderator. What do you want me to do? I don't chase people. I don't chase people. No, this before we <laughs> had Nadesco. So I thought it was a conflict and, of interest. Complex was trying to fucking shove a, a penis between me and academics. Pause. I'm like, fam, <laughs> we've, there's never been a male moderator anywhere. <laughs> we've never seen a male moderator anywhere in the world. I'm telling you, man, the chief... The chief be having to work. Who <laughs> is the dude? I'm going to edit the fuck out. I don't know out. who the chief Listen, is. Listen, I'm going to have somebody edit the fuck out that shit, and I'm going to have you say L.A. Reid tried to shove a penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm going to do. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. What What is happening with Uncommon Sense now? We just finished the third season. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know. I mean, it's the, it'll be the fifth season because I did two seasons of Charlemagne and Friends. And then three seasons. Yeah, this nigga's leaving the breakfast three club. Three seasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He won't be honest. <laughs> Listen, why would I leave the breakfast club? Listen, if you look at people that's really getting that bag, Ryan Seacrest, Steve Harvey, they still get up and do their morning radio show every day. Like, radio still provides a level of intimacy that you can't get anywhere else. Radio is what helps Steve Harvey promote his 10 other TV shows and his books and everything else. Like, I'm not going to leave radio. Ryan Seacrest is doing... Whoa, I didn't say leave radio. Don't I'm put words in my club. mouth. I said the Breakfast Club. Nah, I work well, if they come and offer you, if they come and offer you, I'm not, I'm not saying you leave on like some disharmonious note. Mm-hmm. If they come and offer you your own, your own slot or your own show or just because I'm sure you have aspirations of you're not going to do that. You're going to try to finagle both. See, see, you already spread wide, spread see, thin. This is the thing, right? Um, breakfast Club is a unique situation because I feel like that's probably the only show in the market where everybody has equal billing. Like, it's not like, even though people may... F- That's not at, true. No, people may look at me and say, oh, he's doing the most, but it's still DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. It's not like it's the Breakfast Club, DJ Envy's Breakfast Club or Charlemagne's Breakfast Club. What, what happened to G-Spin? G-Spin quit. G-Spin works for UTA, which is, he's my agent now at UTA, actually. Mm. He's my agent at UTA. This he got that good. agent bag. Yeah. <laughs> I need the bag he, before he that, get the that's, bag. That's, that's, that's my man, though. G-Spin is the G-Spin reason. G-Spin is, yeah. He's Rory. Like Rory, like if G's been G, a lot if G-Spin was a gremlin Damn, and he got crazy. wet, Rory would pop off. <laughs> like, 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 like that's the truth. G-Spin is who Rory would be if he would grow up and stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? I don't, yeah, I don't know. G-Spin is the reason the Breakfast Club is together. I know. G-Spin handpicked everybody. I, I like, know he like told me all about it. Like this whole that's... the whole power lineup from Pro Star to Self. I think everybody but Clue. He called me. I, I was in Boston. I was performing. Uh, and he was out there, and we we did dinner, and he was trying to. He told me about the idea. I said it's amazing because y'all three are great. And he was trying to come up with a name, and he said I'm thinking Breakfast Club. I was like, ah. I'm like, well, little do I know <laughs> that shit's a hit. <laughs> that, shit, that shit was better than name everything else. Man, if I would have heard that from Rip, I mean that's a low core. From the Rip, I was like, I love the three of them, but the Breakfast Club. I, I, I wanted to be I, Illuminati I was, in the morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see where he was at. Oh, Luckily, G Spin was the there. <laughs> Thank God for G Spin. Yeah, I'm glad that didn't work. I wanted to be Illuminati in the morning because I just I just like to fuck with I like to fuck with the internet. That's so cool. I I know that shit would have fucked with people. 
Tell me how much cannot be said because Angela Yee works at record labels. Let's get to it. I mean, I don't know. As like, as, oh, my <laughs> fucking God. As far as she's concerned, I don't know. Listen, no, you know Angela Yee's politically correct like a motherfucker. I know that. You know that. But that don't got nothing to do with me. I don't give a fuck. I don't have no ties with no record labels. <clears throat> Tell me about this Revolt partnership. Let's hear about that, partner, hate, man. Listen, everybody knows I hate Revolt. I say that on I air. Don't, I don't know that. I say it on our air audience, all the time. Our audience yeah. don't listen to the air. Tell us. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, I mean, it's just... They're, they're, why you hate Revolt? Because they don't pay us shit. That's why. <laughs> like, is that, that's, that's the bottom line. They don't pay us nothing, and it's just like... I'm not even really supposed to be talking shit about them, actually. But that's my, like, I would think yeah. that's that's not supposed that, to be. That was a memo that but, came. But that was a memo that came like a month ago. Like, please, <laughs> stop, stop, but stop that's talking shit about hey, revolt. Hey, Puff, I don't know if you know, but that is the word on revolt. <laughs> they don't nigga, pay nobody. That niggas ain't really getting that shit in the deck over there. Yeah, and then plus, I just I don't know. I don't I don't, I don't see what they do for the brand. That's just me personally. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just I don't see how revolt uh, lifts up the brand of the Breakfast Club. Personally, hmm. and put you on TV. I'm not gonna lie, the Revolt has a lot of shows that are, that I right, though. Like, like what? I've seen, I've seen like Word. documentaries and stuff on on Revolt that I did never even. Well, knew. well, good, Ma. You make me feel better about being on Revolt. <laughs> I'm I just, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, Ma, Ma, that's part of Revolt. That's one of the only channels that still shows like videos. Yeah, because I don't. I, I thought nobody watches Revolt except for French Montana, Cassie. Diddy, <laughs> nah, I definitely, I definitely watch and it. Diddy's kids. I like, don't know how you get it. Is it part of a? Tom Tom Warner. Warner. I don't know. I, just, I, I personally would want them to do more for us. Like I want, I want. If anything, I want Puff to promote Revolt the way he promotes Ciroc or anything else. Do you see, do you honestly think Puff promotes Revolt? Well, there's got to be a reason there because Puff would never not promote something. I, I don't see his. it. Puff is the ultimate marketer. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the, I learned from Puff and Khaled. Like you gotta have a that you gotta have a DJ Khaled level of annoyance, a Puff level so, of annoyance. Well, only some when you're promoting something. Everyone simmer down. I might have a revolt bag being negotiated down low for the podcast. <sighs> You better talk to Nori. No, not for oh, the podcast. Oh. Oh, Everyone <laughs> simmer down. Oh, I got big plans here. No, not for these two niggas. Okay. You think I'm taking them everywhere with me? <laughs> Maul just started being on time two weeks ago. I'm going to give this nigga a job But it works, somewhere. though. <laughs> it works. So, I mean, yeah. It's a, it, I mean, it's just it's a partnership, but it's like they don't really pay us nothing, and they don't promote us. So why should I be happy about being on Revolt? Me. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying. I like, had a fucking point like, I was getting to. You niggas made me fucking. Forget. Like you said, like why? Like, like why should I be happy to be on Revolt? Because like, they put you on TV. I'm signed to Viacom. I, I'm on TV a lot, Rory. Well, then why didn't Viacom do give you guys the bag instead of Revolt? They, I don't know. It's a good question. What do you know. think that Revolt? Do you think that they have uh, watered down Nori shit? Watered down Nori shit. I mean, I don't know because I don't watch it on Revolt, so I don't know. Like I still get a. Uh, I still get rev I still listen to Drink Champs on on iTunes. By the way, Nori's podcast is interesting to me because it makes me wonder. Like um, Nori's interesting. No, that's my guy. Nori's amazing. That's my. I'm in business. I'm in. He's super, great at what he and, does. I'm in super business with Nori. Like me and Nori got a couple <laughs> TV projects oh, in the works. What you niggas doing over there? I'm in, I'm in, I'm executive producing a couple shows for Nori. That's not a secret. With, with, with like, Revolt, definitely not with Revolt. <laughs> I We're always said Nori and Ghostface bro. needed a television show. Ghostface is my favorite rapper of all time. He's Ghostface a great personality, needs, though. He needs a television show. Nori got a couple shows coming. One one is already greenlit. Nori's a star. That'll mm. be announced soon. And uh, the other one we about to shoot the pilot for. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. Absolutely. I got to hurry up. Niggas get to the bags, man. man. I got to hurry up and get to moving, that's, man. That's why I'm not, like, These niggas are taking the rapper journalist slots. <laughs> my, my, my focus is different. My focus is like, I want to, I like being behind the scenes. I like doing the executive producing thing. I like finding new talent, finding new new people. I like mm. throwing assists way more than I like scoring points. I've shit, always show sure I get paid more than anybody. Well, speaking of, speaking of uh, behind the scenes shit, and we brushed over it, but I want to get everybody's thoughts on. on we talked about Larry, but the Khaled move uh, about him eyeing that executive. I don't, I don't think that'll be good. Executive I said position. That on, I said that on Breakfast Club this morning. I don't think wait, that'll wait, be good. Give me the backstory. I don't know what you're talking about. He wants to be L.A. Reid. He wants that job. I don't oh, think that's really? a good idea. I yeah. never think it's a good idea when somebody who's that active yeah, wants to artistically. be in charge. Yeah, I don't never, know if he uh, had uh, the time to do all that. I, I just don't think you can. I don't think you can do that job with integrity when you're still. It's, an a, it's artist. a conflict of interest. You can't. Absolutely, I don't, I don't see it. Definitely, I don't you, see it. 
but still, would we like to see him get it? <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm yeah. just saying it well, might make for some real interesting theater over there. Yeah, and, and also, I'm all for that. It would behoove Epic because I don't think anyone has more relationships than DJ Khaled to get people to sign over there. And Khaled is like, I'm the one that's in charge. I like seeing, as a rapper, I might want to do that. I like seeing anybody from the culture getting those positions of power, especially Khaled. Khaled came from radio. I don't ever get well, it Khaled, fucked up. And also, but Khaled like, cares. I like people that care. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. that are in charge How do y'all know All of this stuff About these people How do you just say that So adamantly Yeah oh, Cali cares, cares. You, How would, f- you wouldn't, Yo, Rory, you wouldn't Rory think Rory that got Cali a cares? lot Of industry I connects. don't though I really Ask don't hood If Cali cares <laughs> <laughs> I don't know <laughs> But you always saying I got industry connects <laughs> He's about to growl No you know shit? what it is More you, you got some Industry connects But Rory got like some You know Rory used to Work at label He got some label shit I Going don't. on Rory, All, the, are, peop- Rory, all the people That work at Rory. labels Don't work there anymore oh, Rory you are industry out I'm not I'm even really, You are you, yes, you are you are, you are. Rory, Prove it You are Prove very How? How? Industry out how? I can just hear it in your voice. Like, you're the How? next wave of, like, the white guys in the industry, the Joey Ayes, the <laughs> G-Spin. Like, I haven't worked at a label in years. You're the next, you next, wave. You're the next white wave. You are you the next will. white wave. You are, you are the next white wave. <laughs> you okay. will. Okay. I love what yeah. you do. Listen, I love what y'all doing with Henny Palooza. That's a whole different yeah, type Irish of Irish nasty is killing shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Irish nasty. Okay. Well, with that, I care. So I'd be happy if I was in charge of a label. Because I give a fuck about this, and I think Khaled has proven that he gives a fuck about artists first. I think oh it's I think God. it's hard to care when you're very industry institutionalized, man. I'm gonna tell you why, because I think you care more about the relationships than you do the actual culture. Not saying you in general, but I think a lot of people get in these positions mm. and they really care about their relationships more well, than they, they care to. about the culture. That's why I always say I'd rather be of the people than mm. be of the industry. Because mm. when you're of the industry, you gotta play that motherfucking of game. Course, you're gonna worry course. about who you offend. You're gonna want to get invited to the album release parties and all well, that I bullshit. Don't. I've never played. That game even now that's why I'm curious that why you guys think I'm industry I haven't been to an industry event in five years I definitely saw you at a big Sean uh, listening party never. that I shouldn't have been at you never saw I should have been there you was outside party. you was outside a big Sean listening it was party. um it was down there oh, whatever down street there. that yeah, is yeah. Where, where is that at club that I hate uh, Griffin down the block from Griffin down the block daytime I don't remember that but I might nice. I might have been at a big Sean listening party because I think big Sean's the dopest rapper out right now Mm. I saw y'all argue debating that on Everyday Struggle and I'm like why like y'all was like is Kendrick the best I like Kendrick don't get me wrong but I think why you think showing this because I think delivery wise I think ball for ball I think the way he flips different flows I think Big Sean is the best first of all we gotta stop sleeping on Detroit MCs like we always who talk sleeps about on who sleeps MCs? on Detroit MCs I, 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 probably I the wrong podcast. only your top 40 too. people sleep no, on I don't think the, people put Detroit MCs into that conversation they talk about New York they talk about Philly they talk about Cat. Detroit got some of the best Am I, am I talking about? I'm M&M, not talking about right? Philly before Detroit. Let's mm-hmm. rank where Detroit is. I'm not. I'm talking about New York, L.A. I'm, I'm, and Detroit. I'm putting Detroit over L.A. Talk about just rappers. I'm not putting Detroit over L.A. Y'all yeah. putting Detroit, just rappers. Y'all putting Detroit. I can take, I can take two rappers right now. Royce between and Royce, Royce and Eminem. I'm adding Elzai. I was about to say Elzai and Ooh, for, Between okay. those three MCs, I'm picking Detroit. And by the way, wasn't Exhibit born in Detroit? Even though Jersey, I'm taking me, Tretch, and Redman too. I'm not mad at that. I'm, t- I'm taking El- Elzai, that. and Royce is a tough. That's a tough I'm three to go that. against. I just, I just. If you put everybody in their prime, this is this is a good actual conversation. But Detroit is high. I don't know who sleeps on on yeah, Detroit. You can't sleep and, on and, Detroit. And, and I think Sean is the next wave of 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 great Detroit MCs. I just don't think Sean has. Oh, and that, Sean is there now. Sean yeah, yeah. Sean doesn't have that hype beast. And Dave Love. Stop it. Sean doesn't have that hype beast thing behind him. <laughs> Danny Brown? Cause Danny's nice. nice. Yeah, Danny's nice. But that's the era we live in. We live in that era. Like, if somebody like Kendrick says he's dropping a project, everybody goes crazy. Already says it's a classic before they hear it. Same thing with J. Cole. But that's going to happen. Same thing with Drake. Like, those three have a certain cachet that the Wale's, the Sean's don't have. But honestly, Wale and Sean, Sean... Sean does not have an album as good as a Wale album. Sean does not have an album as good as a Kendrick album. I agree with Kendrick. Wale, I think he got he got a couple. He got. I what's deci- Sean? What's Sean's I, best album? I decided. I decided is his best work. I like beautiful, uh, dark, twisted sky fantasy, whatever that shit was called. Wait, where's that, that was one? Sean's one. Catalog. No, that that's, was the one that's... with it, blessings on it and all of that. Oh, my dark paradise. My, 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 my dark, dark, dark side paradise. paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would be dope. his best one, in my opinion. No, I, I think, the new. I no. decided is is yeah. really good. No, I, bro. I like I decided, but I, I think the other one. I think Detroit, the mixtape, is his best work. Period. But I think what happened with Sean was in the building of Cole Kendrick and Drake. Well, Drake's kind of poppy, so they don't really count. He put out Hall of Fame, and in that 
instance, Kendrick and Cole put out amazing projects. And, so and, I think and, Sean and, and got Drake, pushed yeah. to and, and a lot of people took Sean's flow, including Drake. Of course. No, that I agree. That is going down. Charlemagne, I'm telling you, right. I think Nino. it happened. No, was, you're, you're right, but that's Sean's fault for not highlighting that. He should highlight that. More niggas would recognize it if he said that. Relationships. But, but because Drake is the biggest nigga in the world, yeah. Sean is not going to say that. Yeah. But who don't know that, that that's big Sean flow? Well, I think Drake uh, credited Sean. He did credit Sean. Times. I just think Sean right now, if you listen to uh, I Decided, Sean is doing flows that other rappers just aren't doing. I think Sean is like he's phenomenal. doing. No, but, Sean, he, uh, he, he's but I'm, I'm telling you where I think Sean for a while. Yeah, where I think those core fan bases started, Sean did Finally Famous, which was great and had hits, but Hall of Fame came and it just was a dud to a lot of people. But he so. put out two dope projects since then. But I'm saying people already get in their I love this artist. So they were with Kendrick and they were with Cole and Sean just got left behind in that room that's because a, of that album, I think. That's a great point you bring up and that's what I said. It's a hate beast thing. Oh, of course. Because you, you, you got dudes like Vince Staples that are dope as fuck out here. Somebody yeah. asked me that today. I'm like, yo, I don't, know, I don't know if Vince would ever Vlad. really get to that level simply because if you don't get that energy behind you early, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like you don't get it later for whatever I reason. I think that Vince, I think his... Uh, his greatest talent probably is not going to have anything to do with music I at agree some with point. You. That's how much. He, he that's de- how highly he definitely I has feel. A media about, yes, he's very well spoken. He's he the has next, great opinions. He's the nigga that I look at and say, "All right, I got to watch him." I, gotta, I fuck with I gotta him. Gotta but he can rap too. He can really rap. Oh no, he raps really well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about the same way I say to Charlemagne. Charlemagne, we have existing whatever because we're kind of alike. I look at Vince. He's the only other rapper that's just going to say it. <laughs> he's just going to say it. He don't care. He's mm. just gonna say it. He's gonna word himself well. Hey, he's not. Yeah. Yeah, he's not politically correct at all. But yeah, you probably. And he's see, nice. Yeah, and he's but, nice. But to bring it home, you probably did see me at a Big Sean listening party because I actually like Big Sean. Like he's dope to me. He's the best rapper out right now to me. Not saying he makes the best albums. I'm not saying any of that, but he's the best rapper. Because I'm looking at mm. their last few projects. Okay, you I'm think look- he raps better than Kendrick? I think he's right there with him, my brother. No, I does really- he rap better? Uh, right, right now, yeah. Mm. Right now, at the for this for right, it's, it's a slight edge. It's After, a slight edge. If, if to pimp a butterfly was our last reference point, I may agree with you, but he did so many different flows and great shit with Damn. Like, I like I, Damn. I, I, I kind of have to give Kendrick. But right you, now, did you really this. listen to Sean's album? Of course, I don't believe which you. one. I, I decided. decided. Of course, I have I'm a Sean yet. fan. Uh, to my I industry connects, yet. I used to work with Sean, so of course I did. And you don't used to work with everybody. I'm so tired of working. (laughs) You don't think think him and Kendrick are close? Yeah, of course I think they're close. And the reason I'm 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 going to tell you another reason I give Sean a slight edge. Kendrick, you know, when you hear Kendrick, you can still hear elements of certain people. You can hear a little M. You can hear a little Andre 3000 at Mm. at times. Okay. With Sean, I don't know who Sean sounds like. Who does Sean sound like? Himself. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like he's, absolutely. He, he it's, 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 it's a slight edge and, and just originality with Sean. And I love I love Kendrick. Kendrick mm-hmm. makes way better albums. To Pimp a Butterfly wasn't original. I love, Pimp a Butter- I love Dan, that album. Damn wasn't original. Damn was just cool to me, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought, it's, My it's, yo, Park said the same thing. It's cool. Park said it's just cool. It's not whack at all. It's, and re- I, it's really, matter, matter of fact, it's actually dope. But it's just like, I don't it, know. It don't mean anything. And I respect Park's music music opinion so much that I went back. You ever go back to try to hear something with like another nigga ears? Mm-hmm. I ain't hear it then. That damn album is goddamn it incredible. I'm, by the way, the last, I mean, I, I know y'all love Drake here, and um, I've never been the biggest Drake fan. But when I listen, by to by the that, way, you're the only person that's ever said that we like Drake here, besides Mo. Uh, no, everyone, everyone thinks we hate Drake. No, I love Drake. True. Y'all love it's obvious. Y'all love Drake. I love Drake. I, I listened to the last three projects from the. I, I consider Kendrick Cole and Drake. The, the guys of this era Like if back in the day We'd argue about Biggie, J, and Nas It's, you know, Cole Okay Kendrick I don't think, yeah, Drake I don't think anyone could argue that I didn't like Cole's last album I didn't like it either I did not like For Your Eyes Only I didn't like More Life And I think that was a consensus <laughs> You didn't like More Life? No, it was alright But I've never been a Drake fan So I'm not Like he's not my cup of tea Drake is like Rice and Tiller I didn't like the last uh, J. Cole album I didn't like that album. But everybody and their mama swears by mm, it. More know. Life is I think this is the first time really, Cole got a lot of really backlash. really great after album. you edit it. After you edit More <laughs> Life. No, for real. I think that's why you call it a playlist. You edit it, and yeah. it's great. Drake what, is, what did you edit? Drake is interesting to me because I've never, <laughs> I've, I've, never been a, I've never been a Drake fan like that. And even records that I think I like of Drake, I end up like, oh, okay. Like, I thought I really liked Free Smoke till I was on the treadmill like two weeks <laughs> And I'm like, nah, it's not going to get me through it. Free Smoke... I said when I heard it, oh, Maul about to get mad at me. I'm listening. Yo, Maul, this is, this is no, great. No, no, no. You know what? I'm going to chill because no. we're in the summertime, and this is yeah. exactly how that bullshit started last no, summer. I'm, I'm listening. Free Smoke sounds is the same almost as, uh, 
What's the fucking other Drake song? Energy? Or no. 10 Bands? Or? Now, I like I, Energy. I have to remember. I do like Energy. Dope. I like Energy and Know Yourself. But you know what? I appreciated Drake Damn, when I went that, to the show. That's going to kill me for the rest of the night until I remember that record. What you saying? When I, when I went to Drake's show, that's when I really understood who fucks with Drake. And when you throw that many things against the wall, you mm. get a big, broad audience. Like of Drake. course. Because you got to think he's doing R&B songs. Mm-hmm. He's doing pop Caribbean songs, shit, pop shit, yeah. shit, rap shit. Like, he's li- he's got something for everybody. Like that's full that's the most diverse crowd I've ever seen in a concert. That's why ever. I didn't... I, which is why, why I don't understand how people... Shit. Which is why I don't understand how people don't like his music. Like, I don't understand it. It's just, I mean, it's just not I almost for me. try not to like Drake music. I don't... I, it's just not for me. Like, I, he's not whacked by any means. It's just not for me. Like, I grew up in a different era. I'm, I'm, Drake has been talking about the same shit for no, a little while now. A lot of rappers have I was been talking say, about the same shit. You say that about a lot. That's, that's but he's been biggest, doing it the same way. Forty just amazing. Yes, and that, that's my biggest problem with hip hop. As I get older, like the artists that are that are putting out music, I've heard it before, and I've heard it done better. Like I love yeah. Kendrick Duckworth, mm-hmm. but I've heard better stories. I grew up off Nas Rewind. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. But no, but see, Charlamagne, does that mean that that takes anything away from that? Nah, record? not at all. Not well, at all. It's, dope. It's, it's, it's dope, but but it's probably way doper. To a twenty-year-old. Well, Charlamagne, you don't have no I, point think, of reference. I think it's an age thing for you because yeah. there's certain things that I hear that were amazing to me in '03 because I was 13 and just lo- starting to love hip hop. But you can't say that it's still it's still ranked yeah, because there's a lot of records hey, I love back then that I listen to but, now. And I'm yeah. like that was trash. But to speak to Charlemagne's point, recently I'm starting to hear rumblings of Kendrick is viewed the way he's viewed in large part because of the field being the way it is. Mm. Mm, I think Kendrick would have done well in any field because he just he just has the ability to rap no matter what, and he's shown that he can be original Kendrick, and not do the same put, sound as everyone else. If you put Kendrick else. in the '90s, you're not calling him the great one of the greatest no, rappers. No, 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 and you said he dictates I, the I culture do. right now. That is not true. I did not say that. I didn't say he dictates you, the culture. You said he's like the biggest shit. You like his, I said he's one of the hottest things moving. Yeah, but he that, don't even sell records like that. He hasn't sold a record. He hasn't oh. put a record out to sell. Okay. As far as streams go and as far as uh, his business and his advertisements, it, he's one of the hottest things smoking. He is, yeah. but, he, but he's still not as big as the people we're talking about. He's not big as Chance. He's not big as Kendrick. He's not big as Of Drake. course not. He's but not I, big as, I never as Cole. Spoke, I, I never spoke about him in that in that light. But don't you think as, 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 as quote-unquote tastemakers, we should be celebrating what's dope? And I don't got nothing against no. Yachty. I'm just saying, like, if you're a hip-hop purist, why not celebrate hip-hop? His, his, well, here's my thing with that and how someone that grew up loving hip-hop could not like Yachty. It's not his music. It's the fact of how, when he came out, he was very dismissive of the culture that gave him food. He wasn't food. dismissive. He, wasn't he said fuck Pete Rock on Twitter. He was what are you young. talking about? He's like, you don't even know who Pete Rock is. He, talk, he probably thought Pete Rock was just some guy from Mount Vernon tweeting him talking shit. I don't he think, Pete, no, I don't think don't, Pete Rock was in Mount Vernon you tweeting You know who Pete Rock is. This kid's 19. No, but I'm saying, no, I'm telling you why someone who loves hip hop could be mad at that because it's very dismissive that the culture that these people love and created and built for Yachty to continue to move on and eat off of is now like, I don't really give a fuck you know about it. I'm not even a rapper. You, you know why, fuck rap. You know why <laughs> Birdman said that years ago. So did Kanye and a lot of other motherfuckers. You know why? Not you know, in that context. Yes, what do you mean? I'm not, I'm not a rapper. I'm a, rock and I'm a shit talker. I don't even. I don't even know. Spitter. I don't know the new point y'all are arguing. But I wish that I had somebody to to speak to me that way when I was in Yachty's position. Like that's very alarming to me that that young man not only didn't know what a 360 deal was. That was he was bullshitting you. I'm. 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 A, I'm. I'm a hun- I know when somebody's bullshitting somebody because you know the first thing he said when you said that he goes, "Oh, I don't know what is it." Like he was being condescending and sarcastic. He he knows what a three sixty deal is. Come on, Joe. I don't Joe. know, man. And that, I disagree I with you. And you know how I know? I, 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 think I saw that. an interview with Yachty about a month ago, way before he interviewed with y'all. And somebody
Because I read body language, I read mannerisms, I read a lot of other shit. I, words mean nothing without definition. But he said that, and in combination with that, every time he was about to speak, he had to look up. That's telling. That's telling. That says that a young man does probably not have eyes on the eyes. You need eyes on the eyes. Charlamagne, when I first got my record deal, it was a woman who shall remain nameless, and I'm not going to throw Kaiser under the bus, but it was a woman that robbed all of us at Business oh, County. She about, robbed us her. all. I heard about her. I, I had, her. but I had people that was watching things. I had people in place. Shit still happens. When you 19 and you rocking now, my delivery was a little That's off. That's what I was going to get. But when you 19, <laughs> delivery you is always need off. I, but, well, 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 again, I don't want to have guests ever how, on the fucking show. How can a rapper with the best? How can a rapper with one of the best deliveries <laughs> have such a terrible he's delivery? <laughs> When he's just talking to somebody, well, no, I don't deal well with people. When, when you're 19, you hate when older people. <laughs> I don't deal well with people. And you, you I want, never want to talk what? to people, Charlamagne. I'm giving it four months. Charlamagne, I, I never. <laughs> wait, I was at six. I'm at four now. <laughs> but wait, I never want guests. And what I'm learning here on this on this everyday struggle shit, uh, which you spoke about earlier, is the more the more disagreeable someone is with me, is the the big is the harder they want to come to the show. I don't know why this Slim Jimmy kid wants to keep coming up here talking to me. I don't even know how I, I, I love, end up I in love, a beef I, with Slim Jimmy. I love Slim Jimmy. I lo- but see, I'm from the South. So I grew up on 3-6 Mafia. I grew up on Little John, Crime Mob. I love that energy. Listen, all of that is great. Ray Schmermit is dope. Ray Sh- Nobody will say that they're not dope. I have said they're dope. They're, I've said it to him. Yeah. However, we would be a little foolish to ignore that people are saying... The one brother's about to leave, man. I didn't make that up. Sway Lee, he's on other records. They popping. Niggas are saying that. So what? It's, so what? It's fine. Yeah. But why? This kid wants to beef with me, so now he wants to come on the fucking show and talk about these Yo, things. Yo, it comes a point in time where you got, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm over beefing with the youngins. And I'm going to tell you why I'm over beefing with the youngins. Because we look stupid regardless. Because it's just a, That's true. Gen- it's a generational That's true. thing. That's true. Yeah. We're 20 years older than some of these guys. <laughs> like, That's true. Like, but the language, if, I, if I'm saying to somebody, and if I'm saying to somebody, hey, I like y'all. <laughs> but you don't say it like that. No, you can't you say, say that. You say it. I fucking it. like you. <laughs> Fuck you. Sh- you don't know Sh- shit, but I like you. When are you fucking leaving, Sh- <laughs> Jimmy Lee? Slim Lee? Right. When are you leaving? Slim Jimmy. <laughs> Slim fucking Jimmy. Like, like, that's, a discon- that's the disconnect between you and academics. The disconnect is you just don't respect him. No. And, 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 Not true. And I can understand. I respect him. I can understand why. Because no. academics is one of those people that I tell him this all the time. And I told him, I told him this two weeks ago in private and said it in public. You can't talk to Joe about things you don't know about. It's things oh, that Oh, I've Joe, said all of this to him too. It's things that Joe has lived that you just don't know about. And Simple I tell him to school me. The same thing you've said. I tell him, school me on Ugly God, school me on Playboy Cardi, all of these new guys. I'm not going to ever have information Listen, on. He put up a list the other day and he was like, pick who you want for the double XL freshman list. I had to text him like, who are these people? Yeah. I knew A Boogie and Ugly God. I did not know the rest of them. Because I keep, I, I let, I let Relly put me onto that. I let Act put me onto that. I let Ta- when Tax was home, he'll put me onto that kind of shit. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, I'm, I'm, that's not my era. And plus, music is a feeling. We all know that's that, true. right? The stuff we grew up on, that's why I can't get mad when Yachty don't like a Biggie or a Pac. Because it don't mean anything to him. It's just music. It's just like when I hear this young shit, it's just it's either sonically pleasing to me or it's not. No, but I can't say that, Charlamagne, because I I, I listened to Bob Marley and I, I was one maybe when he died. Bob is a feeling, though. That's what, but that's what I'm saying. So you, at, at Yachty has to. You can't say that he just because he's young, he don't. I don't. I don't even like this one. He went from Bob Marley to Yachty. No, this but no, I'm no, like, no, no, no. I'm no. just saying. I'm point. just saying the, the feeling, the you. vibe. Like you know, what I'm saying just because he wasn't there doesn't mean he can't catch that energy and respect that energy and that vibe in that moment. Yeah, but you're not. We're not 18, 19 at a mosh pit dancing to Minnesota either. Like think about when the first time you heard. I can vividly remember being in a club in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, called Highway Fifty Two, and then playing Wu Tang "Bring the Fucking Ruckus" when I was a teenager, and how that made me feel. Like so, whenever I hear that song now, it takes me to that moment. I'm not at these Yachty shows. I'm not doing the drugs these motherfuckers is doing. I'm not in the crowd with them. I don't. So I don't feel the music the way these kids feel the music. It means something to them. It don't mean anything to me. Mm. But to that point, like it wasn't like Nas. I'm not comparing. Rory Nas thinks to A Yachty. Boogie's like Nas. Can I just throw this out there? No, he doesn't. I don't. I love A Boogie though. Really love A Boogie. He does think A Boogie's like Nas. Um, but <laughs> but the way like when Nas came out, he wasn't dissing the hip. Wait, Nas or A Boogie? Like 
there was still respect level. Of course, Nas was rapping circles around the earlier shit, but he didn't come in dismissive like "fuck all that." I ain't grow up on it. Fuck. Wait, are we talking so, about? Are we still talking about Yachty being dismissive over hip hop? Well, that's what was the point. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, I, about I, the I, about I, the young I, kids I, and how they're coming in. I got one quick with point no with disrespect. That. When Nas came in the game, he was still closer to that era. Y- Biggie's hmm. been dead longer than Yachty's been alive. Hmm. I guess nah. a life a wide yes he has a wide gap. Yachty's nineteen. Biggie's been dead twenty one years. Math is terrible. You might be. <laughs> like, no, he's correct. Like the gap <laughs> is right. way hmm. wider. Like it's like like Nas is was right there after Rock him. Right there after KRS. Okay, I'll go with Joe's era then. The er, when he came out in the early two thousands, they wouldn't dissend uh, KRS one. But a lot of those guys were still active. Step into my world and all that shit was still acting. And Nelly, still Nelly active. definitely just goes. <laughs> <one. laughs> by the way, <laughs> he one hundred percent. Nelly did send some melodies. One. That was an under, <laughs> underrated battle. Nelly, underrated battle. But you can't be mad because they, they used to do Nelly the way motherfuckers do Yachty now. Like, oh, that's not hip hop. Nah, 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 no, 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 I'm long winded. Joe, yeah. have you ever. Have, have He's you, so full of Joe, shit. Joe, seriously, yeah. seriously. You just you lie a lot. Have you met yourself? Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you ever met yourself? Like, I've watched you. That, that interview when you first went in on Drake. That shit that was good. is hilarious to me. That's, that's I watched, classic. Then it was in black and white, and you was like, <laughs> <laughs> like you was in there. Maul thinks, I'm at the, Maul thinks I'm the most unstable artist there is. Without question. Yeah. It's not even close. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's not even close. Uh, shit. That's not a negative to discredit it's not like a Whitney even or close. a Bobby. There's been a well, lot we all just mean like artists. rappers. No, DMX I mean, is I pretty unstable. Because DMX, I mean, X is my guy. DMX is way more together. Entertainers. Than Joe <laughs> I think it's just cool for y'all to say that Joe, about no. me. Listen, I, well, I know why he says it. I got this nigga all figured out. Listen, I got DMX him. No, but you say it in your more. music. Yeah, but I feel like I say it for different reasons than you gentlemen. No, Every time I've seen DMX wild out, I know why DMX is wild out. I That's see you wild true. out, and I don't know no. why. <laughs> Joe is wild out. I'm like, what is going on with Joe? Yeah, but how often do I wild out? Honestly, 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 you give us a good one every two weeks. It's right now. It's about every two weeks. How long is that? Really? No, how, how, how long? How long is every day struggle been out? We have been on for a month. All right. Oh man. So you better than that every week. Hmm. I've given a little bit of y- the Yachty was one. You, was- you've hit the down with dog pose on academics twice. Meaning you do the table. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it. Yeah, but see, this my I point about you. Hey, Charlamagne know that most of that shit is for fucking theatrics. I really don't know. Oh, you don't knock it off. That's, that's my thing. I'd be like, yo, is Joe in character? Yo, Charlamagne yeah. dances, man. You dance. But listen, you play both sides I'm, of that I'm, fence. I'm, I'm, what you said just now is you said it's a theatrics. See, I don't, I don't ever want to become a character. I want an Angie hat. Come and, on, Angie. Angie's a legend. I don't ever want to become a character chill myself. Like I don't want, and that's my that was my other critique of everyday struggle. I don't want you to get caught up in thinking you got to do that all the time. No, I don't. I don't think you're pretending or being a character, but you do kind of have a character stick of being the person that says what other people won't say to the artist. That's not my fault. That's but that's but him flipping out wouldn't be the same. He just said it. He said he it's theatrics. I don't do that. No, I definitely put some sauce on sometimes. That Drake, that Drake, that Drake podcast, that was some sauce. Joe need to get in the that, acting, that was, man. That was some sauce. Uh, the fucking Yachty shit. Uh, no, nah, that was no. Me. I think <laughs> that was sauce. Yachty I think you was no sauce. No, sauce. No, sauce. <laughs> no sauce on that Yachty interview. Yeah. No, Listen, you no, was but wild. I, but I had a bro- I had a broader point, man. You didn't get to it. I don't you didn't get to it. Is there anything in hip hop that we need to hit that we have not hit? I think I had a list in hip hop. Do we care? About, well, I'm not going to say that. Have, right? we, have we gotten everything off our list? I'm trying to... No, I know you done fucked one of my exes and you won't tell me. I've never fucked any exes. <laughs> Wait, what? Because that's what it is, man. I got to get to I've the bottom of where his uh, consistent... Wouldn't, wouldn't it be if you fucked one of his exes? I only know one of your exes. That's not true. That that yeah. is an answer though, because then he can say, "I didn't know that was your ex." Hey, hey. 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 it's good. Hey. It's in the book. It's in the book. It's in the book. Right here. It's, it's in, in the, the book. book baby. I just know Terry. Terry got a great idea for a TV show, by the way. Amazing. Why you didn't give Terry donkey today when she got arrested on her birthday inside her house? 
<laughs> I didn't hear nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. So I no, I didn't hear the details. Fuck no, fuck no. <laughs> you heard about that? I did. No, I didn't hear the details. No, you heard movie. about that? I just heard she, I heard she got into a fight. Yeah, so, so you, you heard, heard about it. it. So why should she get donkey for getting into a fight? She got arrested in her house. In her house for having a fight for beating up her roommate her on house. her birthday. <laughs> I don't. I, what's donkey worthy? I'm about? never getting arrested in my own living room. You gotta tell me what's donkey worthy. Donkey what's donkey worthy? Donkey worthy. <laughs> what's donkey Show worthy? Huh? You gotta tell me. Show me. I didn't baby. know. The, no, no, no. Listen. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't Listen. know the details he of the knew, situation. He knew about it. He knew I didn't. About it. I heard that. I heard exactly what you just told me. Like what was? So you did hear. Bring so it, so you do hear a lot of details. <laughs> no, in, I don't in know your the day details. To day. Like, like what was the donkey of the situation? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, she got into a fight in her house. <laughs> Yo, he's, he's very, I think we get some info. Yo, you're very understanding when it comes to certain people. No, I thought she beat up a chick and the chick called the police on her and she got arrested. Why is that so crazy? In your house, I think it's crazy. <laughs> not if the person, it's all about who go get to the phone first. If I'm beating you up, you're not getting to the phone. <laughs> yeah. In my house. You can't make sense to this one, Charlotte. I, I mean, I don't see it. I don't Listen, see stop protecting your Tahiri relationship. I don't have I a think she has a good idea academics. for a TV show. I know, yeah, I just <laughs> Oh, he's oh produ- no, no, no. By, he's the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, he's producing I'm, I'm, this show. By the way, by the way, I'm definitely going to try to produce that show. She's got a great idea for it. Is it show. her and Joe on TV That's again? No, nice. it's not her. It's definitely yeah. not her and Joe. It's definitely, it's definitely not her and Joe. But it's a great idea for a TV show. That's the only ex I know of yours. And the orphan, who's the orphan name? Is she bailed out? Who? <laughs> Charlamagne bailed her out. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we gonna start all types of rumors right here. What was the other? What was the the, the runaway? I don't have any exes. Oh my god! I don't have any exes. That's just new thing. I don't, I don't have any. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. That's just new. I know what you're talking about. You know the girl I'm talking no, about. No, we don't. In. I don't have any exes, and we are I, I confused. I don't get people's personal lives. We don't, don't know don't any exes, Charles. Man, sorry. No, man. I really thought she, she was. Had Charlemagne parents. is not giving Tahiri donkey of the day for <laughs> getting arrested on her birthday in her house because he's I producing her fucking story. television show. And it's y'all telling me that he is move. not massaging his fucking <laughs> relationships here? Bro, I, Rory, explain to me why should that get donkey? We just said. Charlemagne. I've, I said it twice. All right. All right, forget you about her. You a fight? Pause. Right, I'm going to go down degree. your donkey list, man, and I'm going to point one out that shouldn't have got it. Okay, Just for me. you. I'm going to tweet me, it to you. Me. I'm going to tweet it to you. I, don't, I can't think of it. No, if it were me, if it were me, and I went out to a club, and I don't even like talking about this this long, but you full of shit, and I went out to a club, and then I walked in my house, and <laughs> beat, beat up my roommate, <laughs> then got arrested and went to jail and spent my birthday in jail. You're giving me donkey. Is today. your roommate a girl? That's the only way you'd get donkey today. <laughs> See, <laughs> you go back to this. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sit on her chest? Yo, do y'all know or that on her stomach? That's the only way. <laughs> These jokes are not supposed Joe, to be funny, I though. Haven't, I, haven't, <laughs> Joe, I haven't given you donkey in months, and you're you giving us some material. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> the Yachty, the Yachty you could, thing, you could. If it was a no. slow news day, you could have done it. If it was a slow nah, news day, not really. Not, not for the Yachty thing. Screaming at a, a what child. Have I, what have I done? I thing. actually been pretty good. I've been out the news. The grunting at academics <laughs> yesterday is so underrated. You know, Why are so y'all not paying that no attention, man? Oh, that's that regular shit. Did Jason, yeah. did Jason Whitlock was respond? Yes, he did. Was it good? No, he asked. He, he, asked, this, he asked to click up. He was like, "Yo, let's come together." And help black people. <laughs> so him, <laughs> Peter, Ebro, like, Rory. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm ready. You want to? How up? come? How come this the, nigga has a list of people that want to yeah, fucking bro. click up and be friends it, with him? It's online right now. Go look at it. He's like, yo, I want to click in the up. Book. And I want to be friends. It's, and it's definitely in the book. <laughs> with like, is like, I want to be friends and like, let's help brothers and sisters and help. I'm like, Cuss, and you want man. beef? You want smoke? You like, nah, fuck. I don't it. want smoke. I just want you to have that he same energy. the brothers and sisters. That same energy that you had any other time. Like, don't come. To me and click up. Mm. Like, listen, I don't have That's no wild. problem giving anybody donkey today. I really didn't like what Jason Whitlock did, though. Like, he really came to the defense of the white man on me. Like, he really did some, like, overseer shit. Like, he was, he literally got on Colin Cowherd's show and said, Charlemagne is talking about things that white people can't handle, so I'm gonna <laughs> handle it for you. I'm gonna deal with him. How you say that? How you say that to the white man, bro? That's, some, that's like some real live, mm-hmm. yeah. don't you run off the plantation yeah, shit. Him and, Sa- him and Sage Steele, them two together. Yeah. Yeah. Not really feeling it. Where do you stand on Le- uh, LeVar Ball and this I love big Levar baller, Ball. uh, the sneaker, I, I, everything? I, I love LeVar Ball. LeVar Ball is everything that we we have claimed we want to be in hip-hop. Like, we I talk agree. about independence all the motherfucking time, but then as soon as somebody comes and actually wants to be independent and we doesn't want to sign him. a regular endorsement deal, they want to sign a partnership, we act like this motherfucker's crazy. 
And I hate how everybody's trying to make his sons rebel against him. Like what like what part of the game is that where you're telling the sons, don't listen to your father? My father's gotten me to this point. Well, listen, now all of a sudden you like, fuck it, don't listen to your no father. Now. For me. I, I My do sons ask, rebelled against me. I do me. agree with you on the independence. <laughs> I think that's phenomenal what he's doing. Do we think if Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas didn't say no, do we think he would have signed a deal and not went independent? We say what now? Do you think if Nike, Adidas, or Under Armour offered him a deal first, okay. he w- would he have gone independent? Like an endorsement deal? Yeah. If, if They did offer Alonzo an endorsement deal. You I think- didn't know that. I thought they all turned him down, and that's why he... No, oh, he, please. He went, he went there trying believe to get a partnership. that new bullshit if you want. LeVar went in there with the big ball of brand trying to be a partner from the door. Yeah, he came in with his okay. own his own yeah. shit. So, yeah, so but you in think, a way, I think You think he, he would have signed, him. is what I'm saying. Do you think he would have signed if he went into Nike and they say, yeah, Clearly let's not. do it? He's already he turned down the M's already. I don't know I that I don't know that they're not coming back to the table. Of course. Yo, if Lonzo gets signed to the yeah. Lakers and balls out and brings the Lakers back to prominence, of course they're going to come back. But he has to ball out. He got to all out. It's really it's all on Lonzo. Everybody That's talking about Le- LeVar, it's all on Lonzo. Son. That's the thing. It's yeah, but he's on. betting on his son. As he should. He should bet on his son. Like, I don't understand when we've gotten to this men- mentality. Like, yo, we are really some slave motherfuckers. Like, yeah. we're really some slave-minded, work first, take the check, don't think about the equity later type of motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, that shit is a sickness to me. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand it. Like, I don't have no I problem really- with what LeVar <clears throat> Ball is doing. They're- I actually think Kobe, LeBron, Kevin Garnett, they could have been changed the game. Imagine if LeBron would have signed a two-year deal. Nike wouldn't have done that, but maybe he would have. Steph did it, basically. Here, well, LeBron has a lifetime deal. I yeah, mean, it's no. paid out for him now. Here, here's my conspiracy. They're going to try to make sure that this fails because this will open the market for everyone that, that is coming dynamic. out of college with Absolutely. a phenomenal. Absolutely. So I think they're going to do everything they can. It changes can. the dynamic between sneaker companies and players Wait, that, that's your conspiracy theory? Well, <laughs> and we're acting that they're like going to try to make him fail? Yeah. And we're acting like it can't be done. Steph Curry got equity in Under Armour. Right now, yeah. Steph and Dell turned down but Nike. Steph, but you mm-hmm. should. But behind all of these names, you have to ball out. You gotta ball out. That's, That's the bottom line. And so shoot. I'm not mad at trying to be, you know, entrepreneur and all this independent. I'm not mad at that. But I do think there's a way you got to do it though. You I can't. Think, I don't think you come in and saying, "Yo, we want four billion. I, it's like, come on, man. I like the fact that LaVar's vocal of me. I probably would have followed the 48 Law of Power and concealed my intentions until Lonzo actually went in the okay. league and proved himself. Okay. You know, I might have I I even assigned a well, three-year deal. A better well, that's, what I was gonna, that's what I was going to say to you. While, while I think he's a genius in theory, not so much in action. Yeah. Because I, now I would, if he doesn't ball and the sneakers flop, he's I not going to get a deal. But the sneakers would have flopped regardless if he doesn't ball. So this way, he's no, putting no, no, on the no, table no, with a market play. No, 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 that's not true. No. I bought a pair of You think the sneakers would sell? You did? If he, if he didn't ball? No, no, no. If he didn't, he has to play He has to play well. I'm saying that they, if he didn't say his marketing plan now and they flopped when he's on the court, then it's just a flop. Now there's momentum moving into it. This brand looks even better if he does. You can consider your so, intentions. Nobody knew Steph had equity in Under Armour. Like, you got to really go research that yeah. to see Steph got equity in Under Armour. Like, him and Dell did the same exact mm. thing. They went to Nike. They said they walked in there. They had the same fucking uh, uh, presentation for Kevin Durant that they had for Steph. And Dell was like, fuck that. We out. And they mm-hmm. went to Under Armour and got that bag. And they smart. got equity. Very smart. And see. as much as people clown those sneakers on Twitter, them shit sold. That was one of the top selling sneakers. He put yeah, the stock the up to fourteen yeah. billion. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, it was and, and, and if he balls out this year, it's going it's going to be the same thing. They win the yeah. championship this year. It's going to be the same fucking thing. Maul has a very interesting take for. Uh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> I don't. Us, I, yeah. Maul, Maul is going to give us our insider basketball report, and if you're a Nick fan, it's going to be disturbing. Yeah, I want to not believe a word that Maul has to say. Honestly, I, I don't want to believe it either. But it it came from a very credible source. Man. What? They about to get rid of Chris Epps? Yeah, they're gonna get rid of Melo. Uh, the Lakers are gonna get Chris Paul, Carmelo, and Paul George. Damn. The Lakers are gonna get Chris Paul, Carmelo, and Paul George. Yes. Now that's not the part that disturbs me as a Knicks Wait, fan. Wait, where does Porzingis go? I don't know if I that's want what that. I'm curious. He's just going. He's going to ask for a trade. I don't want that if I'm the Lakers. <laughs> You know, I take Why Paul not? George and Chris Paul. I don't know if I want Melo. We have Lou Old Dang now. You, 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 you Melo's still a scorer. You yeah. want you want him with that. that what's the Ingr- Ingram? Ingram and like you still want to. You want LA got a lot of young talent. You still want to help that young talent groom. Like you Ing- groom Ingram is the young talent right now. Ingram is staying. And yeah. then who and who do they draft? Melo should go to they the Hornets. I mean the Pelicans. 
Oh, the Hornets. Who the fuck is Boogie and uh, Anthony Davis on? That's the Pelicans? Uh, New Orleans. New Orleans. Never, no whatever they are. What are they? Pelicans now, right? Yeah. Melo should go there. That's the worst thing he they're, could possibly do. They, no they need a swing man. The two of them, that's not... Anthony Davis and working. DeMarcus Cousins both kind of yeah. play mid-range <laughs> Mellow games. It's not like they two big niggas yeah. with their back to the basket. No, they don't play. Mellow can't yeah. play the three anymore, so where you going to play that nigga? Yeah, when I said put right. put Melo on on the Wizards, niggas laughed me off of Twitter. Maybe the mm-hmm. at what at the four the four spot. Yeah, get him, get Otto Porter, whatever that nigga. All right, this is the worst playoffs I've ever seen. Trash. The only way you can make up for these playoffs is if the fucking finals every game goes into overtime. Every single fucking. Game. But is, it, is it trash because it's not more, competitive? More. Because Mom, hold on, come I, on I, because Mom. I have a theory. LeBron is just that much better than everybody else. Nah, it's trash because Mom. it's because it's, it's everybody clicking up on the same team. It's no, yeah, the league. yeah, no, that definitely. That is, that's the why league. the Lakers have to do what they're supposedly getting ready to do. Because I, you have to match up to the Golden States. You have to match up to the Rockets, the Spurs. Like you have to meet up to that. Man, LeBron, what LeBron is doing right now, it's like I'm. I understand the Jordan LeBron conversation now. I understand it. Nah. I, I understand it. I don't. I, Cause I don't think you. Should, I don't. I don't think you can skip over Kobe. He's been there seven. He's been to the finals seven years yeah, in a row. But you can't skip. It's over gonna Kobe be eight yet. two. It's gonna be nine two. Ain't nobody in the fucking East. Why more. do we skip over Kobe? Kobe went no, to I, seven finals. No, Kobe, not but not in a row though. It don't matter. Kobe no, no, five seven and years two in, in a row. Finals. Seven years in a row is ridiculous. Yeah, like you gotta respect seven years, man. That's not easy to do. So I don't why, we, care. why we don't respect the Buffalo Bills going to the Super Bowl three we do. four times in a row? We do. We do. Respect it? Why don't we don't respect that? that. It's respect much harder in football. I respect that. But nobody talks about Buffalo Bills when they talk about the greatest teams of all time. Mo, you but part of that win. new wave of niggas that's putting the, the LeBron Jordan thing like so no, you don't no, even no. Think he's in let's, the conversation. Listen, listen, whoa, whoa. Let's be clear. Jordan is the greatest to me ever. But I understand how people are now starting to have that conversation. I don't see how you go past LeBron Kobe and Mike. or Magic. Because I, but, but it, Magic LeBron, went one on one with HIV and one. Yeah, and but, he went to the finals nine times. No, well, hold on, he started bleeding. He started bleeding that All Star game <laughs> to get him out of here. Wait, yeah, yeah, oh, I'm I, fucking shit. Nah, nah. Remember that All Star game? No, he was sweating. Niggas ain't want guard no, magic. No, yeah, nah, that's true. And the it only, was true. Only one that kept it 100 was Carl Malone. He, he was like, looking. Carl <laughs> was like, I don't know what that shit <laughs> is. I ain't never seen that on my farm. Yo, Carl, <laughs> Carl get a bad rap, man. Nah, he do get a bad. Carl rap. Carl kept it a buck. Listen, yeah. I'm not guard magic yeah. either. You all sweating and he, shit. He said what everybody was thinking. He definitely Holy said what everybody was thinking for sure. I, I'm, I'm rolling with Kobe. I'm not putting LeBron in, in with Jordan yet. I'm just no. I, I'm, I get the Kobe, but I'm saying it's been comparisons of Jordan Kobe already. I'm you hanging I, out in too many locker rooms. No, I'm saying I, I under, pause. I, I'm, I'm saying that I understand <laughs> the Jordan LeBron comparison. But you can't. You see, the problem it. with guys like Jordan, you can't beat ghosts, bro. Like you right. just can't. Like LeBron right. will never be, be as good as Jordan. LeBron will be great though. Like Jordan went to the finals six times and is undefeated. He, I, you, I get that. Like that. If, if, if anything, what are you? Yo, that's, if, yo niggas got to stop pumping that up. You got I get to. it. Listen, I, I Mike is number point. one. Mike is number Man, one. Man, we had to watch him beat Utah twice. Who did he beat twice? Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix was tough. That was a tough. Nah, he didn't beat squad. them twice. Though. He beat them once. Who he nah, beat? He beat Utah he beat twice. twice. He, he did beat Utah, Utah twice. twice. He beat Utah twice. He beat Phoenix. Once. Come on, man! No, Lakers. no, no. You said he beat Phoenix. Twice. He beat the Lakers. No, no. Once. He beat Utah twice. Yeah, he beat he the did. Lakers once. He beat the Trailblazers. The Sonics. The Sonics. Yeah. That was it. That man, was it. Yep. the Knicks. <laughs> hey, we be pumping Mike up a little bit. <laughs> I know it ain't allowed to say Those that. Those were super teams he beat. And that Sonics team was not a super team. What do you team. mean, Gary Payton, Sean yeah. Kim won sixty nah, games? That was that was a tough team. That Utah team was great. That Phoenix team was like a. The Phoenix team was like these loaded teams. Now they had Charles Barkley. That team was loaded. That team should have Jeff Hornacek, yeah, yeah. Dan Marley. Yeah. That was Barkley's MVP year. Yeah. Barkley should have got one. Richard Dumas. Yeah. He should have got one. Mike. That niggas, Mike had niggas on Slim Fast. You can't eat when I get here. Listen. Things, Period. in fact, did progress, especially with Yandy and Erica, <laughs> who really have been DC's Holy shit, heart. yo, speaking <laughs> of the Knicks, I'm or watching LeBron. bum-ass love of hip-hop on Monday. You know who I see on there? Sean Williams. Nobody knows Sean Williams, but he played for the Knicks a few years oh, ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was with uh, He girl. hit all the three-pointers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever what? Miss, yeah. Do you ever miss loving hip-hop, Joe? Hell no, I would never do that shit again. Well, what made you do Unless the bag was right. Like, cause that, you're, you're like so anti-industry. What made you want to do loving hip-hop? Well, for me, I, I thought at the time, I didn't understand anything about it. Yeah. So when Mona comes and you offer that visibility as an independent act, you think, okay, I could. And I had I had my best independent year gotcha. on Love & Hip Hop, but the other shit that came along with Love & Hip Hop, I would never do that again. And I, they couldn't even afford me to do it now. 
No, they no. Are no. You, are, you, are, is they, Joe, they wouldn't pay it. I wonder is Joe Budden finally accepting the fact that you're going to be industry. You're industry now. Like, are you really going to embrace it? Well, yeah. Let's it? get to, let's get to that before the, the sleepers. I'm not industry. That's the difference between yes, you and you are, I. Joe. You going to be censored? No, I'm not. You going to fucking protect your relationships I'm not, though. and not give to Hiri Donkey today for getting arrested <laughs> on her birthday. That's not good enough. I'm, I'm not I'm not doing that. Come on, come on. This is the thing though. Joe says I'm protecting my relationships. You do. To Harry? <laughs> like out of, out of you all said the she had the best TV like, show like, at the end ever. See what I mean about this thing? See what I mean about this thing? All the relationships I could have to Harry? No, no, there's a lot more relationships. There's a lot more relationships. I'm being funny right now. I'm being petty. I'm just saying, I just but, like, you must you protect your relationship. I don't well, have all, right, any. all right, so listen to this. Okay. No, yes, the fuck you do. You told me that you are in charge of your own promo run, and if you're putting this together, it looks amazing. Yeah, but it look, looks great. You do have relationships. But you do realize when I go on these shows, you're corporate. But when I yeah, I love like corporate America. But when I go on these shows, whether it's the View, whether it's First Take, whether it's Colbert, I'm on there talking about five percent teachings. And I'm on there saying the white man is the devil. <laughs> like, like, I'm thinking about that, Joe. I don't, you, I don't I haven't heard that soundbite. What? I haven't heard the, the white man what? is the devil in front of the white man. I haven't heard it. I'm just Yes, I said uh, yes. I'm not doubting, I'm just yeah, saying I haven't heard like, it. I, that's, these are the conversations I'm we're having. Like, you know, they're asking me about stuff in my book. Trevor Noah was like, so you said that 80% of white people are the devil. In an audience that was 80% well, Trevor white. Noah's, I saw that one. Yeah. Trevor Noah's not white. I'm talking about in front of the white folks. I did it on saying Colbert, it, saying it there. I, I, what do you think about Kanye? He's in the sunken place. <laughs> he you is, saw right? the, you yeah. saw the JLC like, interview I'm, I'm, today. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I love Kanye. I think he's a legend, but he's dis- he's disappointing because it's just like, yo, you was that guy who was like so socially conscious. You was mm-hmm. that voice that the culture needed. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, man, that guy stood on stage and said George Bush don't care about black people, and it's like you just Same said dude. fuck it for Hollywood. Yeah. Like Kanye and for, I really. Is yeah. the definition of like what you would call somebody who sold the fuck out? Like yeah. he is. We just bypass it. We bypass it because we he, love him. Because he puts cool holes in t-shirts. <laughs> that, no, for real. And, but, but, and, and not only that, because he has contributed a lot to the culture. Yes. Like even if he's decided to fall back, I mean, come on. Would, would Pusha T have a solo career if it wasn't for Kanye? Like who else is going to take that chance? Yes, Pusha T would have a solo career. For I don't know. Not, not Nobody as, else not did as great it. as it is now. Nobody did it, Joe. And not taking away from his talent, you just have Kanye West. Yeah, I hate, when, I, I hate when people say that. <laughs> Nobody else did it. Pharrell would have done it, though. I don't know. Mm-hmm. He, had, he had every opportunity. Pharrell would have done it. Why well, Pharrell he, fell who, back. Who had Pharrell? Yeah, but he Pharrell, Pharrell back. fell back. Who has Pharrell had done he, that for as of late? Because he purposely hasn't tried to. I'm not saying Pharrell hasn't done it, but his interest is not in that space. If Pharrell never falls back, y'all don't think he puts out a, a fucking he did, though, I'm Pusha saying. album? We're going with what's tangible. I wouldn't want to hear a Pusha T solo album executive produced by Pharrell. I yes, think you Kanye, I think Kanye, I think Kanye is, 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 is more hip-hop than, than Pharrell. And I love Pharrell. Pharrell's dope. But Kanye's like more traditional. He gets it more. Who wins a beat battle between the two? Kanye. What a question. This goes back to the no, beat no. battle of whoa, whoa, whoa. Clearly? Whoa. If, it's like, if, it's like, if it's like Blaze, if it was like Just Blaze and Swiss for a crowd? Does Kanye, does Kanye have anything over grinding? Not just blazing. What what rec- listen? What record does uh y- y'all went to the Life of Pablo tour, right? Uh, no. no, I did not. Oh my god, that's one. Of the, that's probably the most phenomenal I, I concert I've ever seen. I must have We're not industry. industry you are. I went to that. I went to that because you're in industry. So I was sitting in the crowd. I went I to like, Jesus, and I thought Jesus was the greatest show I've ever been to. I would never go there because that album was trash. I didn't. I, would, I didn't like that. The album, album was but, better live. Okay, but, with the whole theatrics. Kanye's got records that you can tell off the stage. I didn't imagine, ask you that. Imagine if Kanye plays We Major. What if Pharrell got that sounds like We Major? You remember the We Major? We Major, Major is what you, that's a great beat, but in a beat battle, that's what you yes! win with Kanye? That what? beat is hard. It's a great beat, but in a beat battle, that's yes! what's separate. All right, Pharrell puts that, on grinding that, that after We happening. Major. What happens? Okay, then Kanye plays Can't Tell Me Nothing on. <laughs> that, see, that's the type of beat I would think you would say, not We Major. We that's Major what, is amazing. The it's a great beat, shit? but it's not the beat in a beat battle I'm running to. Nah, We Major is amazing. Me and so Stack, me and Stack Bundles, rest in peace. When we first, very first heard that beat, we were blown away. Amazing. We I'm not blown, taking away we from the beat. Away. I'm just saying, can't tell me nothing would be the shit I would run to in a beat battle to go against. I think Pharrell is amazing, but I don't think him and Kanye are close. Well, speaking of Kanye, GLC did go in an interview yesterday or today and said that Kanye's in a sunken place and he only equates success with acceptance from white people. Yeah. Duh. I mean, uh, I don't think I don't think this is breaking yeah. news. Did we but need GLC to, to tell us yeah. that one? Well, it was. He went more into detail. You can look at the interview That's about the him f- being in Paris and saying these things to him. But 
I mean, Kanye could make the argument that his interest has been within high fashion and things that white people like. Yeah, but that's so, white to me. Especially yeah. when, oh, yeah, no, I'm not especially saying especially when your interest it was the kid in Chicago who mm. cared about what's going on in society. I remember the last time we interviewed Kanye on The Breakfast Club, I'm like, yo, did somebody tell you to fall back? Like, it's, did somebody tell you not to speak about political issues? And he said, yes, my father. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I think that's whack. I, I think, think it's, I I think think it's Con- whack not to stand is, for something. Is Chance what we hoped Kanye was going to be? Kanye Jules. Hmm? Pardon? Kanye Jules. He yes Jules us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I, I thought you were going to drop a yeah, Kanye I call him Jules. Kanye oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> yay Jules. And I can't say I can't say Chance is what uh, we hope oh, Kanye to be. It's early now. It's exactly. Because Kanye was this exactly. at that time. Exactly. I got, I, got chance, I got Chance running hip-hop probably for the next 15 years. That's a hot what? take. I do. Nah, Joe, you think it from an old mindset. We're, 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 we're older, so we used to those long runs. I don't think those exist anymore. All right, anymore. yeah. Yeah, they, they're shrunken now. So mm-hmm. with that, 15 they, they years ex- is two, They exist, two but on now. a smaller area of artists, I think. Niggas Cole that, and Kendrick so have two chances. Oh, no, 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 no. They, they've had their on top run. I'm projecting for the future. Chance till 2025 is going to be, if not one, then two. In the That's newer crop. I think he's, I mean. I'm on record we, with we, that we, one. We fucked that up this year uh, with the hottest MCs that I executive produced and had Mr. Joe Budden on. But one of the better ones in the last however many years. Yeah, but they I'll was up there. Again. I never Why? Again. Because I just don't like it. You can't win. Like there's no win. Like no matter there's what no you winning in hip hop. Yeah, against. there's no fucking winning. But the point of that shit. list is not to win. It's to, to people talk. I about did it think about. I did think about doing a top ten lyricists. Like not not hottest MCs and sales and all that. Just bars. But like not the, everyone's gonna watch that the way they'd watch a hottest MC. I, I shit. think they would. Mm. I think they would, especially if you get it's pe- a niche and, of people that would. You'd get people from the culture to judge it. Like I'd get Joe to judge it. I'd get Royce. I'd get Jada Kiss. I'd get Scarface. Well, you mentioned get, people that should be on it. Well, I do think <laughs> that a few. I do. I do think a few things should happen. I do think that Lyricist Lounge is something that somebody should bring back. I do think that you or me or somebody should approach BET with bringing uh, the basement back. Um, Yo MTV Jam. Just some of the old staples in hip hop that we had for the mm-hmm. type of shit that you were talking about. We still kind of need those avenues and those yep. outlets, especially more more so now than ever. <clears throat> you don't even want to do them, though, because even when you get into those conversations about those shows like that, everything revolves around pop culture. Like, it's never, it's never going, as long as those shows are being done by networks where you have mad executives who are culturally clueless, it'll never be done right. Well, that's never. Why, that's why the chief is here, man. It'll never oh be done God. right. That's, that's why, why, if anything, that's why you should be happy you got outlets like Complex. You should be happy that you got the motherfucking titles or whatever because they allow you that creative freedom. They allow people of the culture to mm. shape the culture. It's impossible, bro. But, but like, people would say that before Yo, T, Yo MTV raps. People would say rap, rap would never be on the radio. And it eventually did. I mean, it can go different times. Like you got to think, your MTV raps was done out of a out of a niche necessity. Now, hip hop is pop culture. Well, with the internet, I think you can create a balance with niche things and show that they get millions and millions of views. Because there's rappers I've never heard of hits. Yo, <laughs> wait, <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, I, don't, I don't, I don't care about what y'all are saying. I don't. This is it. Rory's just gonna challenge and and respond to every fucking thing. I don't oh, care. Yeah, we're on a podcast. I don't, you idiot. nigga. This we on you a do, third fucking hour, nigga. I'm not gonna hear this fucking shit. Just the fuck up. <laughs> Let's get to the fucking sleep. Wait, wait, right. Right. This, this, this right. is this Rory, is nuts. Just, this is nuts because we're talking, and when he gets a point off that the three of us don't give a fuck about, now we gotta sit and listen. This why we're talking. It's three. It's four motherfuckers sitting here talking. I'm responding. What Actually, the topic is. This is know, why you an academic gotta watch you know out what's back. funny? <laughs> okay. Please. This is what happened to Here's Marissa. Here's the difference. I'll fight right. Joe. The academics won't. <laughs> what is fighting I'm gonna do? Chris Nothing <laughs> but get him on the floor. <laughs> get him on the floor. Get me on the floor. Pause. <laughs> Nothing but get him to the ground quickly is what fighting will do. In your downward dog. L- listen, fucking, uh, actually now I need you to finish talking because I gotta find my sleeper. Ah, shut up. <laughs> no, no. All right, do you have your sleeper? I got my sleeper. Oh, oh we gotta boy. pull it off our phones? Uh yeah, play All by right. the. Well, we just gonna pass the aux around. Right. Maul always take Maul takes payola. Rory plays the same no shit every week, payola, but it sounds man. good from different and, artists. And I, I just play whatever. Week. I just play whatever. By the way, by you. the way, this is the, the this is one of the best parts of y'all podcast because you celebrating what's dope. Music. Fuck what's whack. That's what we gotta stop doing. Like I don't give a fuck about Lil Uzi Vert shirt. I don't care about little, little Yachty. That was a nice blouse he had on. Like, I don't care. He's just never felt those fabrics. Exactly. Like, let's celebrate, this. celebrate what's dope in the culture. I no, agree. you say that. You work for fucking corporate top 40 fucking state. I can't celebrate shit dope. Shut up. I always do. <laughs> and by the way, I'm the guy that gets on the radio and says we play too much fucking Drake. 
Okay, I'm the guy that gets on the radio and says, why are we playing Bryson Tiller again? Yeah, but you drunk the Drake bottle. Well, I'm glad you said <laughs> that. <laughs> I never drink. I never drink. Because of Drake I'm about to play Bryson <laughs> Tiller. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, yo, Ma. Yeah, I am. You just I played had... him two weeks ago. You no, did play him last week. Yes, you did. That wasn't his record. <laughs> All right, Ma. It wasn't. That's who we remembered right. who, you got who was it, on Ma. the record. You got it, Ma. Okay, so let me get another song. No, no, go ahead. No, no, I'm getting another Get song. into your shit. Wait, is it one of the four that he released? No, some shit not. Bryson emailed him. <laughs> I bet you none of y'all listening to the best album that's out right now. What is hmm. the best album that's out right now? The God Box by David Banner. I haven't heard it. I haven't heard it either. Incredible. I like David Banner a lot. Some of the, David the, Banner. The, the best production I've heard this year since Ross's album. Interesting. Mm. Really? Who produced it? Him. Him and his team. You know, David Banner scores movies and all that shit like that. <laughs> Banner's one of those people you don't hear from, but he's out here getting bags. No, see? Absolutely. See, see, hella bags. I, I disagree. I'm starting to hear from Banner. Banner's starting to have some outlandish hot takes. Is he? He's, yeah, well, he's starting he to just say I mean, some wild shit yeah, out there. Band is one of those. I mean, I run in the band all the time because you know I, I do a lot of speaking engagements. So I, you know, I speak at the schools and stuff. I'm, I always see Banner. Banner's all, Banner is always out, and it's not even hot takes. He just wants. To, he wants. He's about black empowerment. See, I got to get better at that. You beat me at like being a better human than me. When, when I clean up my humanity, I'm getting you out of here. As soon as I become like a good person, you know that's what me and Envy beef was. You got, you got, you got was. some time, bro. You know, me and Envy had a big beef because just. Envy He's too nice. He's such a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, yes. Joe. Some people like to be nice. Some people like happiness. Yeah, like that's you be for that anybody. That was the wildest nice. shit. For people to be pleasant. That was the wildest shit in that Yachty interview when Joe looks him dead in the eye and says, "No way, you're happy all the time." Yeah, y'all, y'all took what I said. Out of context. <laughs> but that nigga's not happy all the time. How do you know, Joe? Because it's impossible to be happy. He's all nineteen. Time. He don't have no problems. It's still impossible to be happy and all I, the time. And I want to challenge everything, right? I'm the one that challenges everything. Is it possible <laughs> to be happy all the time? Yes that, or no? Lie to me and say yes. It depends what your interests are. Yeah. They don't depend on shit. It is humanly impossible. We're, we're older, Scientifically. Joe, we're older. We got kids. Like our, We look at life different than him. Like When you told Yachty that uh, I, I believe, I, I refuse to believe that's where your values lie, I'm looking at the shit like, Joe, he's 19. You know that's what's funny? He gives a fuck about I heard video you say games. that. I heard you say that, and it was such a great point. But if he didn't just finish saying, yo, I was. He spoke about the struggle two seconds beforehand. So that's why I said you can't speak about oh, the he struggle. Said he was happy now. No, he didn't. You really- can't say I was in college, broke. I couldn't eat. Didn't know where my next meal. And then yeah. turn around and tell me that cars and jewelry is making you happy. It is. No, it's a disconnect. I was about to dismiss his struggle until I thought about it. Everybody's struggle is different. That was a struggle for him. He's yeah, a broke yes. college he student. Yeah, that is you know a struggle. What I mean? He couldn't get no pussy. That's yeah, a struggle. It's, all, it's college a scam. Yeah, point of view. I heard y'all talking about that last podcast. I, I kind of agree with both of y'all on two different points. I feel like where you was coming from, Joe, you were saying that you don't need a degree to be a content creator. And that's that's a fact. I just don't think Joe's going to let but a doctor go near him that's if what they I'm haying. haven't been to there college. There you go. <laughs> Doctors, lawyers, architects, engineers, you got to get a degree. Like, you just have to. You got to go to school. Yeah. Like, you have to. Yeah, you're good at the changing shit. entire But no, that's, but that, when I heard y'all last week uh, debating, I'm like, well, that's, that's what I got from it. Like, hmm. you were saying that certain fields, you got to have a degree. You were saying content creators don't have a degree. See, that's why we need you here, because if that was Rory's point, he didn't articulate that shit. He doesn't. He started telling me about networking. No, no, it was. <laughs> my point wasn't. My point wasn't. More more. I understood. I understood. What you was trying to say? <laughs> Things start telling us, nah, no, right, no, great networking. I, I would have brought up the doctor lawyer shit off rip if that was the argument I was trying to make. Way, of course, I, I don't think Joe is that stupid that he's gonna be like, nah, doctor doesn't need a degree. So I wasn't even gonna bring that up. It gotta, was about more of the networking and the environment and things of that nature. I, you you got to say what you really mean, and that's what I really like. Meant. Stop. People really will judge you based off what they feel. You oh, I know, meant I know. I'm, to I'm, say. I'm yeah, that's definitely one of the now. biggest things I've learned on this podcast. And speaking of doctors, I want to shout out to Doctor Love, Doctor Malachi. He got a year. Salute they to got him. They got him. He's got a year. He's full of shit, though. That's my guy, though. Because he's, he's, one, he's, one, he's one of those... He tried to do what Joe did. He tried to create content without getting a fucking degree. <laughs> he's, he's, a prime example, he's a prime example of why you got to go get a degree. Wait, like, <laughs> nah, that nigga's one of the illest niggas to ever do it. He, he, American Greed, we need an episode on Dr. Love. I love that fucking show. It's some of the greatest scams ever made on that shit. But he could have just went into school. Dr. Love? Yes. <laughs> like he nah, could have just put could, that energy in. But why, but why, why when you getting, you, getting, you getting to it quick? He wasn't going to school. Fast money. That's like Bernice. <laughs> That's like Bernice. <laughs> why, why would Bernice go to school? Wait, Bernice yeah. doesn't have a degree? 
I don't know. <laughs> no, it's funny. I think why, she did why, go to college. Bernice why, makes the why, worst drink. Why y'all slandering Bernice? I'm not. Would never. We don't no, no, slander no. Bernice. Bernice is a, Bernice Bernice is is a, a goddess. Show. Lo- I love Bernice. Bernice, Bernice is, is great. Incredible. She's the worst bartender we've ever seen in New York I history. She, I, I just thought that, I just thought she was a bartender because she needed a title. I didn't let me think tell she you. Actually made drinks. <laughs> let me Joe tell you something. Title, let me tell you something. Walking Starlets one night a few years ago and try and get a drink from Bernice while drinking somebody sitting there. You're gonna be thirsty. I remember when Bernice used to work in the mall. And BB. Yep. She's working the mall. She was kind of trash at BB2 oh, oh, now, I'm thinking about it. Charlie may have been around, yo. Nah, she wasn't trash. For him to, no, no, no. Remember that? What, trash. what I'm saying, I think I remember going in BB and needing service. By the way. And not getting it, didn't either. By that, I remember Angela Yee walked me into a Hot 97 party because we, we was out with Bernice eating. It was like Pekka's used to have a restaurant or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it was somebody from Hot's birthday. And it was just mad people from Hot. Yo, like, Angela oh. Yee is the queen of mixy boys. Yeah, she's, she's in, 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 that's in, she's in the street like a mother. That's it, her. It, she knows that though. That's just yeah. her thing. That's my girl. Um, I'm inviting all of y'all to the pool party. Envy told me he's coming. I'm not. I'm a faithful I'm, man. I'm still. I'm not even sitting in the mean? faithful section. I'm not coming to that Joe Button pool party. Why not? I'm grown. I have no business at a Joe Button pool. Sure party. you do. It's like for the creators, nah. the content people, the tastemakers. There, there's the end- there's nah. cards, domino spades. Still a barbecue at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. Of food. Bring your wife. My <laughs> wife would be there. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. nah, you know Envy's bringing nah. his wife. Of course, Envy's coming. Yeah, he's coming. Huh. People are coming. Angie's coming. Really? Come. It's one of those. I don't know what you heard about. Bro's coming. Party. You guys could take a picture. Nah. I haven't heard that. Nah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. I'm not off of that. If I didn't get anything else from this podcast today, we could have just pressed record and Charlamagne could have said, yo, Ebro wanted a picture with me. I'm a, and I could have walked out. <laughs> Ebro will I can't, do my podcast. I can't wait to see how he, because you know he's going to run with this. So I can't wait to see what he says. Of course he will. Because stuff like that, like that don't even bother me. Like when you know somebody's blatantly lying, you just know where the, who that person is now. So I really want to see I'm titling this, this episode. Can we was, take a picture? Scotty Beam was there. Ask him. I'll text him. My thing with Ebro is, e- Ebro, you have had an open invitation to do this podcast for quite some time, and there's been plenty to discuss. Ebro there's doesn't been... like you, Joe, I'm telling you. I'm yeah, starting, he likes I'm, I, I am starting to feel like. He does not like I don't, you. No, no, not like that. But I do think now that, I think at one point he would have done this podcast. I don't know what transpired. Maybe the Marissa thing. He won't do it, nor will he return any call about doing it. Think he'll take a picture with you? I don't ever want to get to that space. <laughs> like, I don't ever want to get to this yeah, place that, where I just ignore motherfuckers. Like that's 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 whack. Yeah, because everything in the culture counts. Like I, I, I treat this podcast the same way I would treat an appearance on. Not even the view. Treating it pretty shitty the past three episodes of yours, but you know. What do you mean? No, <laughs> I, I don't think so. I'm joking. I'm critiquing the culture. Look at the white man always trying to divide the brothers. <laughs> no, no, you, no, you trying to divide the brothers too. Yeah, I'm saying that's been his theme. I saw it. It was a chess move with Ak. It, it was, was not a chess move. And saying Ak, I don't like Ak him. Just I just did the it's the Reels podcast. Bro, it was be honest, up in be honest, uh, be honest, Ak all day. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. I can be super honest. <laughs> Do you respect Ak's position in the culture? Yes, because you there's to, a yeah. new there's a new. New world of, yes. of the internet and yeah, he is leading that it's amazing what he's done he's like especially all by himself y'all ever read American Gods it's a TV show on stars I haven't, now no. mm-hmm. it's a TV show on stars now amazing show it's only five episodes and you should watch it act is like uh, wait I'm only on episode two I just started this show okay recently. so you saw the guy know what you watch yeah. you so you saw when he was in the car and got beat up yeah, but I still don't know what the show is about. I'm on episode two. That's the internet god. The show is about old mm-hmm. gods versus new gods. That's yeah, what it's about. So it's is... like Loki, oh, okay. Thor, Hercules versus the internet, the new, right. moneyless. Ooh. Ak is the internet. I didn't get that yeah. yet. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I read with the book. You. I read the book like seven years ago. Like I that. agree with you. I was never discrediting Ak. I was suggesting that those people in that world shouldn't call someone that's outside yeah. everyday corny. That's just the wrong word. Charlamagne got to get that's more. That's all I'm, that was all I was getting at. You got to get more friends. You read too many books. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I mean, I like <laughs> think I read a lot of books, man. What do you talk to people? Read and write. I like, like information. Text somebody, nigga. <laughs> 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 God damn it. This motherfucker won't text. <laughs> Go to a pool party. That's why he can't <laughs> yeah, come to yeah. a pool party. Hey, bring your book. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> bring your book. <laughs> Not for by real. By the way, I'm serious. that would be me. That's what I'm, I love sitting by a pool reading the book. Why not? By the way, with with SPF 15 to protect my newly bleached skin. I, I need about. <laughs> Wait, did you really bleach your skin? No. Or is that just a joke? But you do look lighter. A brightened, I, it's brightened. No, nah, that's like, that alkaline water. It's alkaline water. <laughs> but, that alkaline water. but I started to go see a dermatologist because I had mad skin discoloration. So I don't know if you are are joking or not. No, I'm not. But my my mom calls me. Uh, she calls me two weeks ago to tell me that. Long story short, her nails. 
the nail lady told her, told her that her nails are much stronger than it's ever been. And that was her proof that alkaline water does something. Shut up, man. Look at Mac jumping up and down. That yeah, it does right. something. Did, oh, and, and, the, and the doctor told her that her knee. Sorry, mom. I'm putting all your business out here because she just got a uh, knee, knee replacement or some shit. Mm. Something is stronger in her knee but due to this alkaline That's water. All I drink is alkaline water and mad vegetables, and I go see a dermatologist. Where so I bought the. Water? I just bought the big. I, I'm about to buy the machine. Now you yeah. can't you can't tell me that. By the uh, way, everybody so alkaline parties at Joe's crib. Everybody be hitting me asking me for my dermatologist info because I see two things that people do when they start to glow up a little bit. Everybody was getting their teeth done. Which I haven't done yet. I've gone to see a dentist to get my shit cleaned and sh- straightened. And no, shit like we got to. I haven't got I'm going to do it to the veneer shit. I think I got to hook up. I ain't got the <laughs> veneers yet. No, no, in time. DR? You're going to DR for but the veneers? But everybody is like, yo, who's time, your yeah. dermatologist? <laughs> Motherfuckers want that good skin, bro. Yeah, bro. who mm-hmm. the fuck wouldn't want yeah. good skin? White people, because they got good skin already. Allegedly. <laughs> now we <laughs> age pretty pretty <laughs> shitty, man. Yeah, y'all, y'all age like milk. Yeah. Y'all yeah. age like milk. <laughs> we age pretty <laughs> shitty. age like milk. How do I know if I if I if my skin is good or bad? Your skin's horrible, Joe. You need to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> <good. laughs> that smoke is horrible. How did I know Charlemagne would say <laughs> Joe's <laughs> skin is horrible? You need to stop smoking cigarettes. Have academics come on and talk about how bad my fucking skin is. <laughs> I told uh, I told academics when he was on the I'm like, yo, academics, you're getting fat. Not getting. He looks crazy on Everyday Struggle. I've never seen academics before. Everyday yeah, Struggle. <laughs> yeah, no, he de- he looks like Simon, not Alvin and Theodore. He you- looks like Simon. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a little. It's no, a little Theodore wild. was the fat one. No, Theodore was the. Uh, oh yeah, Theodore. Theodore was he the looks fat like Theodore. One. Yeah, I'm thinking Simon was oh the tall one. God. Yeah, he looks look like Theodore. Looks mm-hmm. like Theodore. Uh, all right, sleeper. Somebody give me a sleeper. I got it queued up. All right. Off the T Pain and Lil Wayne shit that he dropped. Hey, you listen Waste to that? Waste of a wasp. This record is hard. I haven't heard it yet. The beat is dope. Say what? Worry like anything with a horn. <laughs> you like me, nature? I see ya. I see ya. And a girl whispering. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The business. Lately I've been trying to stop lying, but I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't blinded by that ass, girl. Ooh. And I would go to hell as well if I said you didn't smell like Victoria's Secret when you pass, girl. And the plain skirt you got on, let the nigga know that you just might have some class, girl. So you gotta have you some brain, and with all the respect, and you got to pass it to pain. Uh. Got some pass it to Wayne And the Wayne pass you hold And he pass you to Mac Man Bang and rap though uh, OD so T-Pain is underrated no Most, One of the more talented people Larry You should show T-Pain's whole track But I ain't trying to butter you up I'm trying to fuck you in the kitchen Let me butter you up Where's hey. my manners? Which one you like? Butter or syrup? Let me show you what your Miss Butter is oh, worth what it is. I haven't even heard Wayne verse, and I know he gets washed on this record already. Yeah. I haven't even heard it, and I know he gets washed. I don't want to ruin it, but yeah. Wayne better do his thing. It's not bad, but it ain't, it ain't what pain is this. Shout out to real nigga. Structure hat wheezy, I'm a bill with her. She be my meal after I have a meal with her. Then I deal with her. <laughs> now won't you shake like a dog, hop like a frog, ride this like been a hard horse, scream holler till you lose your bars. Promise I know how to love, know what to do with your heart. Shot you so much of a target, I hit you with a dart. Oh, bullseye, baby. Was Wayne ever oh, really that good, Joe? Can I stick my finger in your apple pie, baby? Yeah. I know everybody Nah, really I mean, ask pie, yourself you know that. Like, greatest rap, like, when he said he was the greatest rapper alive, was he ever at any moment Greatest rapper alive, hottest, yes. If you keep fucking with me, you greatest, I don't know, bro. I don't think so. That mixtape run is what did it. One of those uh, mixtapes is what. Pro- what was your question? Did it. It was, was, uh, was he ever the greatest rapper alive? I mean, greatest, no. Hove yes. Hov was always there during that run, but there was definitely a case to be made because Wayne had taken over the world at that point. Yeah, but that don't mean he was the best rapper alive. He was just hot. He was hot. He was the hottest for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hottest. I mean, I would never say yeah, but the when best. You, but when you're the hottest over a long period of time, <laughs> doesn't it give you this? And the, Wayne could actually rap. It wasn't like he was just hot because he made pop records. He could rap. Those yeah. mixtapes showed that he could rap. I think Wayne is he a, could rap I, with I, the best of them. I think Wayne is a legend, but Wayne is another one I'm not putting in that top tier greatest of all time. I think he's greatest of all time based off his catalog and the things he's but done that, and how long his run is. So that's where we'll things. disagree because I put catalog as the number one thing that when you rank so who's, who's the greatest ever. And, and when top tier, because top tier to me is the Hoes, you know, Nas, Pac, mm-hmm. Big, you know. Who I'm, you, well, I'm not putting him over. Those yeah, who people. do you take off that list to put Wayne on? It's, it's Wayne goes in. The, Wayne goes in the next generation of of greats. 
all those, all those people you just said are 90s people. Wayne ran last decade, him and 50, and Ja. And Ye. Yeah, and Ye. I would say Ye, Fifth, and, and Wayne were the three. Ja yeah. had a run, but it wasn't. To Who's the greatest? Stop sleeping on Ja, bro. Yeah, oh, I, I would never. Ja, sleep on I had a run. Ja, ja was never, Drake. Was super hit. It got me fucked up. Ja I would was never Drake. sleep on Ja. Mm, yeah, ja Drake's just Drake. been going on a lot longer. Oh my God, you want my sleeper? This is, <laughs> this is my. This is my sleeper from the best album out right now, of the moment. I want to hear this Killer Mike shit. This is this see, David Banner. All smart niggas from the south ain't, don't look alike. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> right? This is David Banner. Killer Mike do look like David Banner. Though. David Banner, Black Thought, and Watch the Duck is called Who Want It off the God Box. Black Thought will pop up just to kill you and remind you. <laughs> yep. Beat is hard. I got the word player wireless, word ethic of Shakur. I was sent into the future with a message from the Moors. I went to war, my weapon just a blessing from the Lord. Rest assured that my pen is more mighty than a sword. I got plans of taking my revenge like Roxanne. My man swam him from Mississippi, goddamn. Y'all fought for anything, that's the shit I cannot stand. We on that CMB, basically all we got, fam. Y'all know my lineage is godliness and cleanliness. Otis used to sing how we should try a little tenderness, but they ultra in. Crazy disingenuous like Who need an enemy if that's what type of friend you is I'll pull on capers and Don Draper A skyscraper defy nature Leave them stuck like fly paper Whoever said we not at the top of the totem We're smoking Lamar Odom You bring the bar lower, we pack them and barcode them After it's all over, I capture the far Nova Back to the Mars Rover then Let's say Kofa come supply me with the camera I smash the vocal booth and turn back to David Banner, nigga yeah. That's normal, fam. Oh, that's, re- that's regular for black people. Yeah. Band is who's gonna surprise you. What a man! Fox CNN and white cooking police. Y'all can all eat a dick. See, I try King's Peace. Kids dying in the streets. Crack soul over beats. See, religion is a leash. It's all slavery to me. Niggas to gods. Gods to niggas. Niggas, I'm grown. Demons on the internet. They got eyes in your home. Eyes in your cell phone. Eyes in your dollar bill. See, they rape my grandmammy. Then they call it God's will. Talking about I'm your people, Roy. In the matrix, but the shoes are all. <laughs> and Rory. And Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Then they tell us that it's drugs A suicide Then they sweep that shit under the rug Fuck a plug Unless he has the key to get free And a boat strong enough to drag the sip across the sea See I shit it on the game But now I take a masterpiece Aquaman with a mm. contraband And all of y'all pets That was hard Little bitches in the sea And all of y'all are getting wet It's the rain of the tech Y'all fuckers get to beat nuts Yeah I love the craft But tonight bitch I beat guts Encore If I clap your scalp and your feet touch Guns with your finger and the trigger don't meet much Nigga. Who won? Who won? All right. <laughs> I, just, I just don't understand how we care about what Yachty and all them doing when that type of good shit is out there, bro. Banner's delivery is very oh, underrated. Oh my god! Like that, that was pretty that's awesome. Phen- this whole album is phenomenal. Yeah, the God, I'm going to check his, it. His last album was it the one with Ninth Wonder, or he put one after? Yeah. That? Uh, um, the, what was the joint with Ninth Wonder? The fucking um, <laughs> that shit damn, was I great. I can't remember the name of that shit. Yeah, Shout the, the Ninth as well. The Ninth Wonder Project though. Well, oh, what are you playing, album. Belly? Nah, this is an artist I just I bumped into. I bumped into. <laughs> this nigga, man. Bumped into with the bag. Yeah, bumped I into. I know. I know. I know you nah, did more. Nah, nah, literally, I literally found him like just watching uh, Revolt, actually. I saw his video, and I Ooh. thought the, I thought the so, record was So dope. Maul's watching Revolt. Wow, so Diddy, yeah. gave, Diddy gave you a bag and this nah, artist. Nah, hell nah, man. This is, um, <laughs> is this Machine Gun Kelly? No, this is Rolling Stone P. Called Machine Little Gun Durano. Kelly's underrated. He is. He smacked that freestyle, whatever, that was just out. Wait, what's this guy's name? Rolling Stone P. It's called Little Do They Know. I like that ad lib. That's, that's a young thug. That's what you want it, right? Not necessarily. Let do do they know I got the pesos. Let do do they know I got the say so. Yeah, yeah. Let do do they know I give a fuck about a trick. Let do do they know I came from nothing to rich. I've heard this song a hundred times from a hundred different rappers. Run, run, run. 
for a hundred rappers. Today, all the rappers. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> making the same shit. <laughs> it's this spot. Judge a man by the look in his eyes when you see him, man. You can lose that bread, don't lose that love. Don't lose it, no. Strong will won't bend no fall. Little nigga, but I will stand tall. Yeah, that shit kinda hard. Bricks on my back like a laborer. I serve it up like a caterer. We all about love and you hating us. Where's he from? Bread's hard and they don't know. Red bone shit. Somewhere below the Mason Dixon line. When the bread go, go. I remember when you were in the He's from Jersey. Wow. Grabbing Bobo out the bed. What part of Jersey? Looking for in the dark night. South Jersey? The song is hard. This shit is hard. Man, I'm about to find this nigga. This shit hard. Hey. Do they know I got the piss? This guy's from Jersey. Do do they know I got the say so? We gotta find him then. Since it's over for Fetty. Little do do they know I came from nothing to rich. I hear them screaming, run, 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 run. That's why you like this song. He's saying run, run. That's your little mind. Play, I play, I see. Yo, Mo always gotta bleed us with the whole song. By the way, it's very that debatable uh, that the South had a longer run than '90s New York hip hop, bro. Oh, is that something I said? Hmm. You said that before? Oh, you were looking at me. I wasn't oh, no, sure no, if I'm I said saying, that. I, I think I think the South has had a longer run, and I mm. think the South has had more influence on the culture overall because you know you well, got a I rapper mean, from Jersey sounding like that. Like this is the home of Red Man and Naughty by Nature and Joe Budden, and now he sounds like that. A rapper oh, from Jersey. Now you gotta hear well, my new the- shit. It sound like that too. <laughs> <laughs> the lines Death are blurred. Now. You think about designer from Brooklyn? The, like the lines is blurred. But the, that's really the, the, the South is. hasn't changed. Mm-hmm. Nah, mm-hmm. nah, you had niggas it in the South. It changed a lot from, from when Outkast. New York ran shit. You had you had niggas in the South trying to rap. Like that. Outcast never really tried to rap like New York dudes. They was just dope mm. lyrically. Outcast Goody Mob, is the exception. They sonically sounded different, but they was rapping. Goody Mob never tried to sound like New York dudes. They just was rapping. You name an But anomalies. that was a New York thing. Was no, they not anomalies. <laughs> Goody three, Mob and Outcast no, are two of the no. greatest fucking. But I say that's how the South changed. It went from Outcast and to yeah, snap they, music. They're not, <laughs> it's definitely said, changed. But, but they're not anomalies because that's what the South was built on. The South was built on that. It was built on the ghetto boys, built on UGK, people that were actually rapping. And oh, please, it, which comes had a bunch of trash York, no? in the South too. Does rapping not come from New York? So it came from New York. Okay. That doesn't well, mean it sounds like New York. <laughs> so it don't sound like T.I. didn't sound like Jay-Z. T.I. didn't... Mm, Jeezy didn't sound like Nas. I mean, during the snap era, they was rapping more like a New York rapper would than someone from their area. No, man. The no. South has probably had a longer run. Run if you're starting it from '96. Outcast. Are you starting it from Outcast? But they weren't ru- Outcast. Atlanta was not running things. Outcast was just doing great yeah. with. So it you're that. starting that. By the way, the, they were getting booed then at the Source Awards. I, I remember. Was, yeah. I would. I, I would start it from. I honestly would start it from like 2002. 2001, oh, then, 2002. oh, then you lose. No you way. started from there. Then and I'm not they saying in 2002 they was running. Then New that York. was Rockefeller Murder Inc. Prime. L- what do you mean? LL's first album came out what year? 86. Uh, that's just a thrown out. <laughs> and how long was LL's run? I'm As a talk- rapper. Oh. I'm not talking about his run. I'm just talking about uh, the New, New York. York. Y'all, uh, didn't, y'all didn't talk about that either. LL tweeted out. Um, oh, the meatball shit? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, one, it was I don't one want to right because you're right. Um, old niggas, we're going to come off that way. We're going to always I do want to note, though, I don't think there's ever been a rapper that's damn near had a hit in every single era. And it's not LL. Ever. What are you talking about? I mean, not as a recent, but LL, come on, man. No. LL from the beginning, beginning, they all the way. No, stop it. <laughs> LL hasn't had hits. You never saw what LL threatened me on Instagram? When he oh, put so up, that's why you're saying When this. he put up the video of him boxing, <laughs> he was like, you're a bully. No. <laughs> I, I didn't see that one. Was no. it like when Meek was boxing? Probably no, not. No, LL fucked you up. But that probably explains <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. why. No, no, no. LL will fuck you up. No, no, no. That explains why Charlamagne be in the gym. You guys are LL Cool J. <laughs> and this will be NCIS. <laughs> you seen SWAT. <laughs> right. Whatever show that is. You, know, you never heard that story when LL beat up the robber that came in his house? Like yeah, he called yes. somebody in his house yeah. and beat the yes. shit out of him? Mm-hmm. I believe it. Nah, LL will fuck you up. Yeah, yeah it's not even a I question. Agree. But he's not going to fuck you up in the booth in 2017. 
Mm. No, I disagree. He's still calling people meatballs. That's fucking hilarious, <laughs> though. But meatballs it's, is always going to be a funny name, though. I don't care whatever. Like, Somebody oh, call you a meatball, that's funny. All right. I'm playing my sleeper, and I'm getting the fuck out of here. This is uh, this is on T-Pain's SoundCloud page, and it's called You Don't Know Shit. This has zero to do with T-Wayne. Yeah, I'm showing T-Pain a lot of love. Salute to T-Pain. Me and T-Pain got a show together. Yeah, you got, got a, a lot, lot of going show, on, yeah, man. I do. I do, actually, but yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you're oversaturating yourself. The, I'm not on the show, The, the content's about to get trashed. I'm not on the show. Yeah, what but you got a lot going on. I'm Between the, the podcast, Uncommon Sense, The Breakfast Club, The Book, Tahiri Show, Hinori <laughs> 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 Show. You got a lot of show. I'm going to just play my record, man. <laughs> you be like, oh, why she got to like all of your pose? Why you in there posing with them hoes? I'm going to watch like, that too. Why you in there going through my It's going to be the greatest show ever. I'm going to take your ass home. You be like, that ain't, that ain't. That ain't that I had to turn the woofers down on this shit. It's pain, man. None of my bears. And I be like, go on, 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 do it. Go on, do it, man. Go on, do it. That's my line. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, do it, then. Go on, do it. I'ma let you stress yourself out. Yeah. Move on to the next, for the best out. Yeah. This ain't no test, cause baby, if the war do it, I have to confess that you don't know shit. Yeah. Do your thing. You be getting wrong, ass. Oh, yeah. You be getting wrong, ass. Oh, yeah. I see that Molly got you gone, cause you don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> Every girl. Baby, I ain't all about your pussy. But your pussy really ain't gonna make me chill, is it? Looking at you like, oh, really? Having real hell, that don't make you real, can I? Hit you with the sauce in the morning. I put this fucking me right on your grill, baby. I'll show you the strong, but you won't see me. She made the greatest. Make some fucking real paper like, oh, oh. I'll be cooking too much not to eat. You ain't up in me, get on my feet. Let's see how your shit do in the streets And I be like, oh, oh You said you gon' key up on my cars That ain't nothing but a paint job But when I'm a bad bitch, it's your bitch, your job I'ma look at you like, go, 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 do it then Go do it! I'ma let you go, 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 do it then Wait a minute! I'ma let you go, Whatever, I'm not I like that ad lib, man How does the culture not fuck with T-Pain no more, bro? How does the label, his label, I blame it his label. Nah, I can't blame the label no more. Because T-Pain should be at the point where he don't even need a fucking label at this point. Like, we should be fucking with T-Pain and the script for that dope ass music. <laughs> mm -hmm. T-Pain, I think, is still as talented as he's ever been. Absolutely, if not more. Yeah. So I don't, I mean, I'm saying, I don't know how the coach doesn't fuck with him no more. Yeah. I really think it's because. And I would say music changed, but Pain been singing that shit. I think. He could still find a lane within this. I think Future popularity. took his trap. No, 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 I do, no, no, no. I think no. Future took his trap. Yo. No, I don't know if Pain, because uh, I think Pain could survive on his own musically. He can go to Empire and fucking pop off. I don't know if he's out of that contract or if he's able to get out that contract. With Jive, Jive don't even exist no more, does it? Wasn't he with Jive? Last time I saw I Pain no in the studio, him, he, him and I were talking about his the label plans, what the label wants to do. That's he was playing fire after fire after fire, and I'm sitting there like, when is this stuff coming out? He's like, well, the label. I, I've been disassociated from that pain. I don't understand when you start talking about the label. Uh, he's also a great personality. He's hilarious. He's just T Pain needs a podcast. T Pain wait, needs wait a show. See his TV show. I, Yo, fam, I, 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 we will. Yo, you can the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, your new, yeah, yeah, send me the pilot. Your new name is Sholomane. Sholomane, don't come up here with no, your no, little 48 no, laws no, of power no, bullshit. No, no, 48 TV Nori, shows. Yeah. He done read Nori, 50s. Call, Nori calls me Slime Seacrest. Yeah. I got a lot. I mean, that's another. I mean, those are a lot of seeds I planted in the past couple of years that haven't even sprouted yet. Like, it, that's going to be the other thing that hits, and they're going to be like, this motherfucker got all these different shows that he's EPing? Yeah. Sholomane. You don't need Sholomane. What do you think? Um, Do you think 50 will fare well as a uh, late night host? On BET? I don't see it. I, don't, I mean, I, I think 50 would be good if he had like a variety show. I don't think he's a, like a, a Jimmy Kimmel, Colbert, Fallon I type. think the late night show probably will be a variety yeah, show. Yeah, it needs to be like a variety show. He's doing like sketches. And I definitely can't see 50 doing no interviews with nobody. 
I, I do. Like who who would fit the interview? Like interview. That would be funny to watch. Whoever I, yeah, I think, he interviewed, I think you would watch it. That's <laughs> yeah. a juxtaposition, so it'd be funny to watch. I, I think, think they they'd have to it. they'd have to switch it up. Like if I was EP in that show, I would tell Fifty like go do field pieces with people instead that of sitting down on a couch like having a conversation. Like go out with somebody and do something. I don't. Fifty's really articulate. really articulate. Yo, Sean I mean, is really. Did, did you just hear him? He's really in executive producer mode. Yeah. I've been executive producing every day, struggle for the I'm past two weeks. Y'all not listening? If you listen to me, I can get. This whole shit moving or the you right really way. Are, and this is all just a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I mean, I'm, listen. Behind the scenes, man. I don't know. We Maybe you do. Up, don't think we're not popping up at Complex in a minute. You think that? Who's cool? we? Like, I got some things about the cook up. Charlemagne and the gods. They coming. <laughs> <laughs> the gods. Char- Charlemagne, the Char- gods. Charlemagne is my guy. You don't I-, think? I will allow him in the building. Yeah. <laughs> I will allow him. I will allow him in the, the building. Ch- the That's my guy. But we've been, wor- we've been working on that for a long, I mean, not a long time, but about, about eight, nine months. I but like what it. is it? I think it's great. I can't say yet, but... Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't come on here talking about nah, some shit. that's just EP shit I can't yeah, say. Nigga, I can't say yet. Yo, this nigga's, <laughs> this nigga's a good industry <laughs> guy. I can't put that out there. Uh, do we have any final words? What's everybody's Memorial Day plans before we get out of here? Anything fun? Anything interesting? That's uh, this weekend for the people that do not know, like me, if you don't have a check your calendar or know what date it is. Rory got a Henny Palooza. Yeah, it's sold out already, though. So I mean, I Irish get, Nasty yeah. will be Irish in Coney nasty Island. Be in Coney Island. <laughs> Island. You nasty hey. little Irish man. <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta do is go up to the gate, ask for Irish McNasty I'm, I'm, at the door. McNasty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Mick. Uh, uh, Maul, I might we, go to Vegas. I might do Vegas. Is the Wizards playing? No. <laughs> my home, Stanley Johnson birthday, so we might celebrate out there. <laughs> this nigga's a Hollywood nigga. Man. Nah, that's my young boy. Why do you know Stanley Johnson? He played on the Pistons with, with BJ. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I liked him a lot. Yeah, I like him a lot. Is he still good? Is he a bust? No. But why would Maul you say that? that Maul one of the people that got a quarter million in the mattress. At the house. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Under the bed. Yeah, I wish. I've been trying to figure Maul out for at least I wish. 10 years, man. I'm sorry, at least man. 10 years. Good. Uh, I want to thank Charlemagne again for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, um, Charlemagne. Uh, I'm not here to sabotage any of Joe Budden Joe Budden platforms. I will so. fire academics before See, that yeah, happens. That's, that's, <laughs> that shouldn't happen. Okay. No, no, that's my guy. No, we need him. We need him. No, we, need we no, 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 no. And we, we need him to be we need, good. We need Joe to focus. And we need Joe to respect academics. Act is not the problem in this situation, Joe. Yeah. Everyday struggle depends yeah. on you. <laughs> debatable. No, it's it's debatable. You. If you look at those <laughs> comments, it's all people. I'm here for academics. I'm here for academics. Absolutely. They're not really here for him. <laughs> After, no, they, no, they're starting to like Joe, but let, they, the joke, they, hey, they, they're so fickle. Let me be very clear with y'all. And I told more before this podcast started. The industry should have gotten rid of me when they tried to. Damn it. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> they should have tra- because they wanted me gone, and now I'm here. I ain't here to be liked. I don't give a fuck what them YouTube niggas say about I, me. I, I'm I, still here. I think, you, I think you and I are doing the right thing, though, by bringing the listeners along for the ride, though. Letting them know the issues, letting them know the things y'all don't like, the things y'all don't agree on. Because we live in an age of transparency. You got to do that. Yeah, I think the next. I think the next. Five to ten years in in broadcasting and media and journalism, I think you're going to have to be raw and uncut. And I don't, I don't think it's. I think we're in the information age. Fans and are consumers gonna, fans are want, smarter yeah, than they have want ever. information. They I mean, want the information. We, now. we always should have been like that. Do y'all realize everybody who cut through was like that? Petey Green, Star, Howard Stern, Wendy Williams. What do you think of Star's run? Um, I thought he had a great run. I thought Star was one of the best. I don't like how it ended. Was it too short of a run? Cause no, we had like that how, conversation, I, I right? I just don't like how yeah. it ended. Like I tell people all the time, to be start in, you got, you, like, you got to be starting out. Like the ending is very important to me. Well, I don't, I mean, I don't let him tell it. He's doing what he wants to do and making money. He doing might, it. he might be, but I, I know I don't want to be let out of the radio station in handcuffs. And that's not a diss to star at all. I know he'll mm. talk, he'll take it as yeah. such. You know no. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I, I don't, think Star since it, well, I haven't walked out of walked out of <laughs> concerts in handcuffs. <laughs> I, I think stars when I, I always cite stars as influence. I think star that's for, that's for listeners. It was, it was too short of a run. When it was, I was upset when he left. When it was Star Buck and Miss Jones, that's probably the greatest radio show of all time. Like a morning show to me. Yeah, that was, to, that to, was me, great, to me as that well, three that stars was, uh, had Star my Buck and Miss Jones together was the, was was phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Were Which, you Miss Jones's competition at one point in Philly, or did y'all work together? Yes, I was. Ms. Yeah, Jones, competition. I, I was I actually. He has no I actually competition. beat Miss Jones a few times. I did. Oh, I thought you said you had no. When I got fired, when I got fired from Philly, I had like the number two show, number three show in the city. Yeah, absolutely. I, I like him squashing the beef with this podcast, but I think you're gonna be on, I think you're gonna be on Vlad's couch tomorrow talking I, shit. I, 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 haven't, I haven't done Vlad in <laughs> a long time. I, I think, I, that, I, don't think I, I, I love Vlad, but 
I don't. I'm not. I can't do Vlad anymore. Vlad is not a friend of. And Vlad, show. man, he, he he's probably hearing this now, but that's my guy. But it's just fuck like, you then if you're listening. It's like uh, <laughs> I, I don't like the direction Vlad went in. But it's like I just don't like. It's just certain shit just didn't agree with me. A lot of stuff I used to see on. I'm like, what? Do you, why? Why are you interviewing this? See, like echoing on. what we say. I on knew he had morals underneath all of this puppet <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm, that's why I'm sitting here. I'm just listening, man. Like I really had Charlemagne pegged all wrong. I, I think I did. <laughs> that has what? been my entire beef with Charlemagne. Yeah, I think see, so. That's why I'm listening a lot. My beef with Charlemagne I'm, is who I think he is, yeah. and sometimes how he comes off. It just don't match. Yeah. This is Charlemagne. What, what am I any other time? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Nah, man. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> what, I don't know. What am I? I don't know. Time? I don't know. You are you are socially conscious. You are you are all of these amazing things, but you got you got this other side, man. Watching this guy, <laughs> I'm me all the time. But yeah, <laughs> I, I gotta have a conversation with like I'm gonna tell you when Vlad really turned me off. Did you see when he had Ron Browse on? Uh, no, refresh me on the story. He had Ron I don't think I on, and he asked Ron because Ron he didn't know that that was Tupac at the beginning of Ether. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he, asked he asked Ron if, if Tupac, Tupac was alive Ether. when Ether came out. Wait, we asked him what? He, he asked if Tupac was alive when Ether came out. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> See, oh my god! People that don't know about it, it's y'all. Tough. It's is forty plus. That's crazy. Come on, Shows he doesn't bro. give a fuck. Y'all give that clown ass nigga a space in this culture, man. Why don't you like Vlad though? Like, why don't you pers- I don't dislike him personally. Vlad's actually a, my man, but you know, I don't Vlad, like the direction of science. I, I don't. I don't like him personally. I, I, I might always have a problem with a nigga that starts some shit and then sue when it get thick. That's one. So I didn't like how he handled the raw situation. But totally outside of that. I watched him do some 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 sneaky backhanded shisty shady things to people that I love while their life was on the line. Mm. And just cause crook and them niggas forgive all that shit, I don't. I ain't as forgiving as dumb. See, that's some industry shit. I don't know what Joe's talking about. <laughs> so, so, I'm, I'm so, sure. but, I'm, it's it's, but it sounds shit, deeper shit, than, 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 than well. It speaks it speaks to and this is years ago. This is I'm talking about 2010. 2009, 2010. So recently we're seeing all of these people speak to Vlad's fucking lack of whatever he does. I don't know what he does now because I don't check for that shit. But he was doing it back then and he was doing it with real street shit involved. And it just cost some people, you know, can't talk about it really here. No, that's happening. I don't, yeah, I don't move. I, I don't I don't fuck with him I, because you're not going to he you're not going to fucking behave that way. I just I hate that nigga, man. I hate. I just hate him. I, hate him. I, I gotta have a conversation with Vlad because after, after, I consider him somebody that's my guy. I gotta have a conversation. With him. And so many niggas that I, I respect, like I respect Star. Star speaks very highly of Vlad. Vlad's actually. A, I respect a good you. Dude. You Lord speak Jamar, very Lord highly Jamar of Vlad, which is I love Vlad. Lord Jamar. Lord Jamar speaks highly of Vlad. I'm like, mm-hmm. y- y'all seeing something different? I don't, I don't think Vlad knows the things he's doing is detrimental to the culture. Like I don't think he's purposely saying y'all gonna do. I think he's really just. Looking to get hits, but he doesn't realize he's like, gonna get one as soon as I see him. But you can't. <laughs> as soon as I see him, he got a few of them coming his way. I got the, the money to the side. Why you want to hit Vlad for? Because I do. Because I'm self destructive. Who did he interview that went in on Joe? I'm, I didn't see I that one. Oh, no, 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 do do your Googles. Well, no, actually, it's him. Well, our history is, is long see, and dark. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, no, I've been telling him off for about 10 years now. That long? Yeah, it's all on YouTube. Angela Yee show Before it was a Twitter Angela Yee actually Is the perfect person To speak to about this Because she's the one It was her show Where I'm calling where, where me and Vlad Basically had it out It's all online I think it was 2009 2010 And basically I was saying to him Is this your idea of journalism Like the shit that you're Reporting about The shit that you're Perpetuating The shit that you're Instigating Like for real my nigga Like is this who you are And this is when I was fucking with him yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean I learned about him Rather quickly I think the rest of the world Learned about him now And yeah. it's a little quiet for him Yeah Vlad I, I, I just don't like I just don't like some stuff I saw. I saw, I saw a couple of things I saw last year. I'm like, nah, this ain't, yeah, this I, ain't it, my brother. Again, I don't know him personally, but I, that stuff when he put old boy talking about murdering a kid, I was like, that this was is shit one. that don't need to be there on. There you yeah. go. Like, there you go. After and and, that, and by would, the way, that led to real shit happening in Atlanta. Yeah. That I know of. So it's hmm. just like, no, I don't know of. But, See, but, that, like, and, but right. that right there <laughs> yeah. is my problem with Vlad. It yeah. leads to real shit happening, yes. and then your disposition is very different. I it's even, very different then. And I it's didn't even it's not just I'm it. reporting the news. That's farther. Now you're giving someone a platform that wants to talk about murdering someone's child. Yeah, that's not a. That, you're not, that's not journalism. And right. you got, that's yeah. stupid shit. Yeah. yeah. Where, yeah. Listen, yeah. where's that aux? This was great. I have to end with. Oh, I think Trey. I think Trey. Uh, oh, oh, see, look at God. Hits. Listen, go buy Black Yo. Privilege. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <all right. laughs>
I don't know if this audience reads, but uh, Black Privilege <laughs> <laughs> Opportunity Comes to Those Who Created is out right now. We just don't is read a book an hour like you. This nigga done read every damn book. Well, if you like podcasts, I narrated my was, own book as ask. well. So, it's you know, it's been, it's been uh, on the New York Times bestsellers list for four weeks in a row. I love seeing the culture line up for books the way they line up for Yeezys and Jordans. Yeah. Because Dope. the book, to, to be honest with you, touched on Shaman and Schuster really fronted on me. Like, they didn't put out a lot when it, when it first dropped, you mm-hmm. know, and it sold out. Politics, yeah. And they haven't been able to keep up. Mm-hmm. So that's Amazing. a good thing. Uh, where do people get the audio version? iTunes? Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, wherever you buy books. No, no, the, the, just the audio version, not the actual physical book. Amazon, oh, Barnes & Nobles. I didn't Nobles. know they had yeah, audio books. Audio See, books. I'm ignorant, man. I thought you get everything audio <laughs> from iTunes. <laughs> iTunes, you get it off iTunes, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You taught me something uh, during our Twitter exchange when when you said uh, the Grammy nod, that you did the audio uh what did you say? Give me the. You did the audio. Yeah, and they told me I could, they told me I could get nominated for a Grammy. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That either. was new information to me. I didn't know that, but I mean, like Barack Obama got a Grammy. Like, like you can, like Joan Rivers got one for like her audio book. Like I didn't That's know true. that either, but yeah. So that'll be dope for the culture. I have to support Charlemagne getting his Grammy and moving up in his career, even though I'm gonna catch his ass. Yeah. You're not gonna catch me because we're not even doing well, you're the better same humans. things. You're better humans. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, not gonna not, we're, <laughs> I'm gonna we're, go to jail, and, and, and we're not doing <laughs> the same Vlad. things. Yeah, I mean, jo- listen. I want to produce. You, I think you got great ideas. I want to. I, I want to produce. I know for a fact you got great ideas for a horror movie. <laughs> I, do. Well, I, got, I guarantee no, that you would just be his Joe's life. got a great murder mystery <laughs> That would just be a biography <laughs> I know he does I do I know he does I can Old tell non-fiction. He watches way too much CSI yeah, yeah. and all that other shit I can listen to certain artists and tell who can be a dope filmmaker mm. Styles can be a dope filmmaker Prodigy from Mob Deep would be an amazing filmmaker Joe would be an amazing I can tell mm. I can tell mm. you, would, you would produce my shit if you wasn't worried about that <laughs> Tahiri show. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do, we gonna do Tahiri too. We gonna, we, I'm out. Peace. And I'm not watching that show. <laughs>